Hello everyone, welcome in. Happy Thursday, happy time zone. I hope everyone is doing so well. I'm so excited to play three more games. This week has been so awesome. Uh, so much fun. Hi everyone, oh my goodness, hi, hi, hi. I was just updating one of the emotes quickly, but it's all good now, so. Uh, first of all, thank you so much to Tansy, Danny, Bree, and Alyssa for modding today. I appreciate you all very much. I'm so excited. Uh, we're starting off with a game called Viewfinder. Uh, then we're the plan is to do one lonely outpost after that, and then spells and secrets. Uh, that's the plan. So I'm really excited to try these games out. I've had my eye on all three of them for a while now, so it's cool they have demos. Uh, the demos are available with Steam Next Fest, so. You guys can try them out this week as well if you want to. Uh, Cisco, thank you for lurking. Uh, let me say hello. Let me say hello. Uh, let me see. Uh, hello to Cyber Frogs and Carlos. Welcome in. Zoe uh, and Anastasia. Welcome in. Wyvernus, hello. Uh, one Lonely Outpost. I know I've had my eye on that one for so long. I feel like as long as Coral Island's been in the universe as a thing. I feel like that game kind of was announced around the same time. Um, I'm not sure though. That's when I kind of stumbled on it. Uh, Daniela, hello. Johnny, welcome in. Kikinel, hello. Um, let me see. Uh, Faye, welcome in. Thank you for lurking. Sirian, hello. Ariel, hello. Trinity, Fern, and Tanya, welcome in. Neff, hello. Uh, Belinda, welcome in. Uh, Sweet Shop, hello, hello. Sabrina and Brienne, hello. Genetically nerdy. Shannon and Nancy, welcome in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm ex I don't think I've streamed on a Thursday in a while. So, you know, we're switching things up all the time. <laughs> we're switching things up all the time. Why not? Uh, Carolina, hello. Let me see who else. Did I miss it? I think I missed someone. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Cheese, I see you. Bovi, Marcus. It's like, I know I've missed someone. There we go. My chat's catching up. Hello, welcome in, my friends. Welcome in, welcome in. I'm so excited. Okay, so the first game, I'm listening to the audio already. Very soothing, very chill vibes. <laughs> so let's see. See if you can even hear it. It's so chill. I feel like I'm in a, like a yoga studio or something with the music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sugar, hello, welcome in. And yes, we have three emotes for the three games today. Today only. So we have the cute little Polaroid, because this game has a lot to do with taking pictures. We have QWERTY, the cute little robot cat, and a spell book. So, uh, super cute. Thanks again to Cisco for whipping those up for me. I appreciate it so much. Um, I did hear about the Coral Island DLC. Oh my gosh, did I even click anything? I didn't even click anything. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a great start. I didn't even click anything. Okay. Um, yes, I did hear about the DLC. I'm very excited about it, and I will be putting out We're in. a video on it so no one misses it as well. Okay. Just gonna turn this down. One second. Okay, that's a bit better. It was very sensitive at first, cause probably because of my mouse, but... Just trying to... I don't want to make you guys dizzy, so... <laughs> I want to get this set up right. I might turn it down even a bit more. So, this game looks so cool, because you can literally take pictures of stuff in your environment, and then, like, use it to reshape your world. I don't know how it works. It looks crazy. Uh, Cherry, hello. Welcome in. Nice to see you. Uh, Barb, hello. Yeah, there's a Coral Island uh, DLC that's been announced. Um, I'll fill you guys in on all the details once I can really sit down with it. Because I think they actually announced what's a part of it too. But um, it's like a charity DLC. So very cool. Very exciting. Um, and I know not everyone is like on their discord so i'll make sure i put a video out so no one misses it we don't want another kickstarter incident where everyone misses the kickstarter you know <laughs> so i'll make sure as many people can hear about it as possible 
I'm afraid the butter flavor is a work in progress. Okay, I have no idea what's happening. We're coding pillows to watch the footage. Popcorn next. There's no time like the present. You can build anything, yet you start to build a lab. Okay. Very mysterious. Very mysterious. There are a lot of pillows here. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm just exploring. It's very beautiful. Oh, look. Remember when Coral Island used to have those all around the island in the original trailer? I can jump. I like it when I can jump. I love jumping. I already set a calendar reminder so I don't miss it like I did the Kickstarter. Alyssa, good call. Good call. What is this place? Oh, this is so pretty. I've never seen this much overgrowth before. It's... it's beautiful. Is this what it used to look like? The world? This is so pretty. Jeez, you're working again. This would- ah! Whoa, you okay? <laughs> uh, your vitals look good. That scared me so much. <laughs> I guess we know now that falling doesn't hurt. Okay, <laughs> one second. Is at least. Uh, that scared me. Okay, hold on. A way to get back up there. Rewind. Genuinely scared me so much. Hold on, let me turn up the audio a little bit. No fall damage. No fall damage. <laughs> uh, you guys can try refreshing the stream too if it looks fuzzy on your end. So wait, can I go on this bridge too? Wait, which one? There's three of them. That one looks broken as well. Do they all look broken? They all look broken. Okay. Well, now I'm scared. I like that I can rewind though. I guess if I fall. Okay, that one was fine. What's an old photograph doing here? Oh my gosh, yes. So. Can you do something with it? Look. Look. Look what I just did. I just put the picture in my world. Isn't that cool? Okay, wait, what else was here? Chocolate bar? That's giving like Willy Wonka vibes. Okay. Yeah, look, I can just go did into the picture now. Did you just shift reality? Isn't that so cool? A teleporter? Oh my gosh, all the tech that I like sometimes wish I had in real life. <laughs> if only we could do that in real life. Rewind, teleport. Create new environments with pictures. That would be crazy. That'd be so cool. Uh, Shane, hello, welcome in. Okay, let's teleport. Glad you made it in one piece. This is so pretty. Oh yeah, by the way, make sure you're staying hydrated today, my friends. I actually... I have tea. I don't know what's happening. I have tea. I thought it would be good, a good choice for me today. What the heck is this? Oh, pick up? No, pick up. Do I put it? Okay, hold on. I don't know what to do with that. Let me explore first. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Oh, I can sit. I could just sit. Maybe I don't want to do anything. <laughs> Cold brew, nice. This would make home decorations so easy. Oh my gosh, let's say you just take a picture of whatever you want and you're good to go. No kidding. Look, another picture. <gasps> oh no, what do I do with this one? The other one I just put out randomly. Wait, this is where I am. Wait, I didn't mean to do that.
Oh, because I get an extra one of these or something? Okay, maybe. Can I just put it down? Hello? No? How do I drop? There we go. Got it. So now I have three of these? I don't even know what these are for, chat. Got a Red Bull? Oh my gosh. Yum. Oh. Uh, Takumi, hello, hello. Uh, Arwen, hello, welcome in. Miu, hello. 10 out of 10 game if we can sit. True, Alyssa. It's almost working. Do I just put them on? Looks oh. Like we need one more. Okay, I'm totally overthinking. I'm like, how do I connect these? Just set them down. <laughs> just set them down. I'm like trying to think, how do I connect these? Like, I get it. Teleport. Well, that's cool. Oh my gosh, where are we now? Oh, it's upside down? Okay, maybe I'll just put it like here. Oh, I can rotate. Oh, good. Like, I don't think upside down will be very helpful. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's so trippy. So cool. Another one of these? Oh, another picture. Teleporter needs to be powered. Okay. It is a pretty game, isn't it? It's super pretty. Um, ooh, palm trees. Wait, can I put it on like an angle? Like this? Because if I do this, I'm going to be walking on tilt. <gasps> oh my gosh. I can. What is happening? The fabric of reality is... Probably because of the angle I put it on. Okay, is one enough? Hey, we go. Yes, oh, because there's one light. Got it. This is so cool. This is so cool, you guys. Could you imagine doing this in VR, Sabrina? Whoa, that would be insane. I've never tried VR before. I feel like it would make me dizzy, but I I have always wanted to because I think it'd be so cool. This would be a really good VR game, actually. With its concept. Okay. Okay, photo. A bridge. That's useful. That's useful. Hopefully, hopefully I did that right. Oh yeah, looks good. Nice. Oh, some notes? Tea time? Oh, tea time. Perfect. Let me have some of my tea. Perfect timing. Oh, it's good. I was nervous. I haven't had this tea before. I got it as a gift. It's like a... French vanilla chai? Mm hmm that's very good. Very, very good. I just wanted to switch it up today, you know, something different. I'd consider coding better tea leaves. Wait, is this whole world like coded and created? I mean, obviously it is in the game, but like in the game's lore, is it also? It kind of sounds like it. I played Resident Evil 7 on VR. Brie. That sounds horrifying. <laughs> How do I get through there? Oh, there's a picture. Oh, we're gonna replace this. Wait, this is so cool. A line photo. Oh, I can. Ah, that's so cool. Are these, like, the remnants of all the pictures I've placed around? Just, like, out there? I think so. 
I'm excited to hopefully play some spooky games in October this year. Some of them will be on like member streams if they're like not cozy at all. But Maybe there's a surface you can use to climb up there. I think it'll be fun. Oh, <gasps> there's a cat! Look at the cat. That's so cute. It looks like it's missing part of its body though. Hello? Hello? You wanna come down here? No? Okay. The Cheshire it does kinda look like the Cheshire cat, doesn't it? Okay, so wait, this is where I came from. I gotta get up there. Okay. Interact. I need I need to understand. This place, beautiful as it is, carries so much weight. There is promise here. Promise of a future we can surely achieve. Interesting. Now, I'm striving to reach heights I never thought possible. All that I hope is that that everything we do here continues to have meaning out there as well. For our sake. For Miran's sake. Okay. There's some serious lore here. We're in like a... Look at that. We're in like some kind of world and there's an outer world as well. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds trippy. How do I get up there? I need a photo. Oh, there's a photo here. Super hidden. Um, okay. So it's like the side of a building. Can I make it like a ramp? Am I gonna break everything or is that gonna work? Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, that worked, just barely. That's so cool. I've seen um, things from Moonlight Peaks. So it looks really cute, Syrian. I've been keeping my eye on it. it. Looks super cute. I'll definitely try it out whenever it is ready. Wait, where am I? Is that where I came from? Wait. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter where I came from. Picture there. Some notes I want to read. Mirren prefers cooler tones for her workspace. Find a better gradient. Okay, wait. I wonder if this is the beginning or the middle. Because I'm not following. <laughs> I've been working on a series of paintings, one to represent each of us. It's a great way to document history. Uriah has been rather shy about it, and Mirren has avoided the conversation altogether. I have to look to Chi Lung for support. He promised to help, but only if I beat him in Mahjong, which is entirely unfair. Hopefully with the help of a cute kitty, I might be able to cheat. Sometimes being a little devious is okay, especially if it's for the greater good. Okay. Interesting. Now, what do I do with this? Oh, there's another picture. So if I just put it here, I can get the other picture. Wait. Then there's another picture. Am I supposed to not go that way, maybe? I still don't know if I came from there or if I have to go there. I think maybe I have to go there. The teleporter was destroyed? Oh my gosh, look, I destroyed it. I destroyed it. Look. Okay, let's definitely rewind. So... 
I have to get over there though. That confirms I have to get over there. Just without destroying it. Carlos says I'm getting this game. I love some puzzles. Do it. It's super fun so far. Ah. You can go forever? Yeah, basically. I see I have to go around though so I don't mess up the... Teleporter? Wait, how do I get up? I- I'm- I need to get up! I need to get up! How do I get up? <laughs> How did I end up down here? Can I like jump? Oh my gosh. Can I make that? Yep. We're out here doing parkour, friends. Hold on. Settle down. Did it! I did it! I did it! <laughs> Wait, look at what I created! Oh my gosh, you guys, look at the what I just created. I made a mess. I made a complete mess. <laughs> Thanks for the GGs. You know, it's not about... No, that's- I was gonna say, it's not about how you get there, it's about getting there, but that's not true at all. <laughs> it's supposed to be about the journey. Close your eyes. I don't know if I should. Is this payback for making you mix new soil compositions all day? Please, Hiraya, have you ever known me to be the vengeful sort? Hmm. Okay, see. <laughs> I guess we're getting like little clues along the way. We're supposed to make something of it. Oh, it's a drawing. Look, it's not just pictures. Oh, this is going to get, this is going to get trippy, you guys. A line? No, no, I don't want it there. No, I don't want it there. Oh. Okay, it's okay. I can jump. I can jump. Ready? One, two. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I barely made that. Whoa, we're in a sketched world now. This is crazy. Uh, Ember, hello, hello. Oh, <laughs> it's marvelous. I'm gonna See, I told you. Wow, look at how the grass is mo like moving too, look. In the wind. Looks so good. <gasps> Another painting? Wait, I love these paintings. Different art styles. Okay, let me place this one better. I'm not gonna use their align tool. I'm just gonna place it. Oh my gosh, I get to go in there? <gasps> this is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. The colors. How long did this take you? Now that would be telling. Art should retain some mystery, no? Yeah, this in VR would be so crazy. It's already crazy without the VR. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're gonna go into a cartoon? Wait, how is this gonna work? No, 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 don't place it there. Um, is there a better spot for me to place this? Yeah, like there. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Are you? I found it. This is so now, cool, you guys. It was a funny one. <laughs> hmm. Not your usual style. You could say I was stretching my creative muscles. It sounds like they're experimenting with either this technology or just with creating art. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh. That's so trippy. Let me go this way. We're gonna go into this sketch. Oh, I was like, is there even a ground? Oh, I gotta jump. Wait, did you hear the jump sound? It's like the cartoon theme too, that's so fun. They had so much fun making this game. No kidding. You wanna try it? It's available on Steam right now, the demo. Oh, <gasps> I can go inside? Wait, what? No way. I was like, there's nothing here. I can go inside the house? That's so cool. Oh. I want to get off this angle. <laughs> I'm on like an angle here. Wait, there's no way I can go into this. This is like pixel art. <gasps> it starts moving. Oh my gosh. Wait. I can't wrap my head around this. I don't know how they came up with this. Downloading the demo, let's go, enjoy. Oh, there's a full castle here. Wait, this is so cool. Your mind is limitless. This was fun. Few things make me happier than when you say that here. Okay. Isn't it cool? I didn't know what- I mean, the trailer made it look really cool, but... Actually playing it... Is so awesome. It's so weird. Like... In a good way. <laughs> You're like building... Your environment. I think I described it as like a playground in my written up... Little spiel about it. Oh my gosh. You can see my- the old environments out there. I'm glad I used that word, because it totally feels like it. But how do I get out of here? There's gotta be- did I miss a picture? Did I miss a picture? Do I have to do something with this bridge? Uh, Dylan, this is called Viewfinder. I feel like I missed a picture, probably because of the pixel art? Or... Hmm... Uh, Sierra, hello, hello! Did you guys notice a picture anywhere? I didn't see one. I feel like I need to bring this down. The bridge. But I don't know... How to? Oh, can I pull the ring? Oh, probably. Wyvernus, thank you. I didn't. I barely even saw that with the pixels. Thank you so much. It's interesting because some of the things in the environment you can interact with, and some you can't. So I guess it's best to check everything. I'm thinking to inside the box, like even with the house in the last one. I was like, there's nothing here. You can actually open the door. You definitely can't think inside the box with this game, that's for sure. Um, I also keep thinking I need to go to like the edge of a, an environment to place a picture. I don't think I do. I think I could literally put it like that if I wanted to. Yeah, totally. So you don't need to put it where there's like space for it. Another teleporter. Skipping content not included in the demo. Okay. Oh, we have the camera now! 
We have the camera. We can put some of the special emotes in the chat. Oh, I have five. Oh my gosh. This is why it's called viewfinder. Take a photo? No, I don't want to waste my photos. Okay, I guess it wants me to though. Take a photo. You can swap between photos and the camera. Okay. So I just took this. This is where it builds a whole other like level. Because now you can like, see that was a super unhelpful picture I just took. But now you can take pictures and use those to change your world. They're so cute, the little cameras. I love the little heart. I love the heart. McKinney, hello. Oh, I can sit again, perfect. Wait, let me listen to this recording. This camera physics thing that Mirren has proposed is going to make me nauseous. <laughs> Gravity exists for a reason. Yeah, I couldn't imagine actually doing this in real life. Okay, so... Okay. Oh, wait. I think I get it. Did I do it right? That's so cool. I can't believe you could take a picture of like anything and then go into it. Oh, so. What does this say? Feeling a bit turned around? No kidding. Yeah. Okay, did it. Simon, thank you for lurking. Okay, so I need to get over there. Can't go through. Let's see what's over here. Oh, wow. Oh, I need that, too. Oh, and I get my photos back, so you get like five photos per stage. Interesting. So can I just like take a picture of this and bring it down? Maybe. Uh, Jendin, hello, hello. Welcome in. Wait, this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna... Oh! Oh no! Rewind? <laughs> that did not work. That did not work. <laughs> um, let me just build a bridge up to it maybe instead. That might work. Like, let me use these. This is fun. You can just play around and see what works. Okay, if I put it... <laughs> like that? Uh, oh. Okay, I can't... That didn't work either. I can't jump quite high enough. Hmm... Well, that's... no. Oh, 
That's not gonna work at all if I can't jump that high. So, what is that? It's not real. Yeah, when I took a picture of this... Haha! <laughs> no! No, stop! <laughs> I got it. But... Okay. <laughs> but I have to get through there still. Um, Cosmic, hello, hello. I wonder if I can just like replace this, sorry, this gate with something else. Like maybe a path like this. Julia, hello, welcome in. Oh, that worked! That worked! Oh, there's one more? Oh, the one that is over there? The real one? Not the fake one? Wait, can I get two fake ones, though? Do you think? Or do I have to use the real one? Let's try. <laughs> Can you buy a camera like this in real life? Could you imagine? That'd be crazy. That'd be too powerful. Like, could you imagine? People would be reshaping our entire world. Which could be cool, but... Never know. Okay, they could be two fake ones. That's good. They didn't have to be the real one. Oh, that's it! I want to keep playing! I want to keep playing. That's so fun. That was so fun, chat. I wanted to keep going. Cozy and trippy, totally. Well, that was really good. I definitely am going to play the full release when it comes out. Uh, super fun. I, I can only imagine the kinds of things you could do, you know, especially with the full game. Probably so many possibilities. Um, so, it looks like so much fun. Yeah, I really wanted to keep playing it. So I'm definitely going to keep my eye on that. I wanted to see more too, Jack. I also wanted to like pet the cat. I never got to pet the cat. Which is fine. Um, yeah, definitely going to play the full game when it comes out. So, next up on the list is One Lonely Outpost. So, I'm going to, you know, do my little break early. Switch over to the next game. Uh, use this to, you know, get some water or snack if you haven't already. Um, and then we're going to jump into that. I wanted to play this one more, but the demo was... I mean, I think it was a good length for sure. Um, I just really liked it, and so <laughs> I think that's a good sign. So yeah, I'll be right back, you guys, and then we'll play One Lonely Outpost, which I'm also so excited for. So I'll be right back.
Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. I'm so excited for One Lonely Outpost. I don't exactly know what to expect. It's like a farm life management sim. And it's one of the only other space games that has appealed to me. Lately, anyway. So I'm really excited to check it out. Um, I'm basically going in blind. I've only really seen the trailer. And yes, we have the special QWERTY emote for this game today, which is so cute. It totally is like kibble mixed with like peanut or butter. Totally. I love that. So I love this screen too. So cute. I always like to show you guys the home screen before I start. New game. Okay. Oh my goodness. We're in space! Space is scary. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't usually like space games, because it freaks me out a little bit. It's so beautiful though, look at all the stars. Is this the planet we're landing on? Planet Calypso System NGC 6503. Oh, yeah, that system. I know that one. Uh, communications poor. Atmosphere toxic. Troposphere stagnant. Ecosphere analyzing. No life forms detected. Oh, this sounds like the perfect planet for us. No life, toxic air. Yeah, let's land. <laughs> let's land. That sounds perfect. Uh, the little critter's name is Quarty. Anastasia. Jenna says, I love the aesthetic. I love space games. I love farming sims. I think I might be sold already. That's awesome. That's awesome. Steampunk kibble. Brie, that's so perfect. I love that pixel art games are coming back. Alyssa, I do too, especially when it's like well done, you know? I love good pixel art so much. At least there isn't hostile life. True, true. No life is better than hostile life. That doesn't seem right, does it? Toxic air, no life. We followed the coordinates precisely. Been on autopilot most of the time. Why would they? <gasps> uh oh. Oh no! No, no, no! QWERTY? No! Stop it! Stop it! Can I do something? Can I help? Are you okay, buddy? Oh my gosh. I was getting ready to cry. <laughs> I was getting ready to cry. A uh, steadfast beep. Look at the portrait. So cute. This is QWERTY. Sorry about that, buddy. Not sure what just happened. A ship malfunction? Radiation or electromagnetic waves frying the receiver? Weird, but too little too late. Look outside. We're here. Oh, I'm so glad QWERTY's okay. I haven't played Subnautica Kick Gnome. I have not played it. Oh my gosh, are these crystals? Wait, okay. I'm sold. I'm sold. There's crystals. It looks great, Ariel. I agree. And yeah, so this demo is available right now, but they're actually launching into early access right at the conclusion of Steam Next Fest. So like next Monday, I think. It was a bit of a rough landing, but at least we're both still intact. Oh, the ship isn't though. The terminal's broken. We can't buy supplies until we get it fixed. Oh no, we can't have supplies. What are we gonna do? How are we even gonna, we can't even breathe. There's no air. Wait, are we on? Maybe there's air here where we moved to. We'll just have to figure it out later. 
Our new home. Okay, there's dialogue choices. I like that. Uh, Danny with the nine months. Can we please get some sunstones in the chat for Danny? So excited for these games. Danny, me too. Me too. I love trying new games with you guys. It's like one of my favorite things in the entire world. So, <laughs> Danny, thank you so much for all the support. I appreciate you uh, being a member and supporting the community. All the love, all the love. Nine months. I, I'm telling you guys, one day we're all going to just look at the chat and there's going to be a bunch of flamingo floaties. Because y'all are all creeping up on that milestone, like, collectively. Okay. Okay. I gotta choose something. Thank you again, Danny, so much. We made it. Our new home. We're here for better or worse. The PGP better pay for any damage the Astro Bago has incurred. Is that the name of the ship? <laughs> Um, our new home. Let's be positive. Curious beep. Yeah, no kidding. QWERTY's like, what are you talking about? A new home? We've come a long way, but hopefully it will have been worth it. The PGP wouldn't send us all the way out here if it were a complete waste of time, right? Don't answer that. I'm trying to stay hopeful. <laughs> well, whatever happens, at least your tracks will be right next to my footprints. So let's go and see just what the PGP sent us here to do. Did they send us as like a sacrifice? Like, I don't get it. Jeez, welcome back from your meeting. Perfect timing. We literally just started. One lonely outpost. Oh my gosh. I'm here. Okay. Movement. Matter manipulator. Mining laser. Spray gust. Yeah, I'm gonna remember that for sure. ZX. Got it. Okay. Omni tool. Okay. I'll try to remember that. So this is... Oh, it shows me. Matter manipulator tool. Used to till soil. If upgraded, it could also be used to move crops. Move crops. Wait, that's cool. The mining laser tool fires a laser beam used to mine ore from rocks, clear boulders, and destroy placed objects. The spray tool outputs a cone-shaped spray of water used to water crops. And the gust tool unleashes a blast of air ideal for removal of sand, dust, and snow. If upgraded, it can also remove pests from crops. Wait, this is so interesting. This is super interesting. Instead of Winnebago, it's Astrobago. Oh, Jendin, is that actually what- that would make sense. If it's like a play on words. No Man's Sky vibes, but less scary, Alyssa. Okay, and I have a task. Look at QWERTY. It's so- I've never played a game with like the 2D mixed with like 3d before this is my first one okay what's my first task Oof, looks like a big one dear star steward your ship reports a safe landing on calypso as a star steward you are tasked with establishing a colony on this new world congratulations on your first expedition uh calypso falls under the jurisdiction of the pan galactic parliament the pgp is entitled to a share of profits resulting from all human ventures on the planet Failure to comply will result in the revocation of your title of Star Steward. Under the heading Punitive Measures Continued, we will provide resources to ensure that the colony on Calypso flourishes. For instance, we're giving you an Omniac. No, an Omninac. An Omninac. An Omninac, which gathers information about flora and fauna you may encounter on the planet. It updates automatically as you interact with the environment. Your first task is to cultivate the land. All colonies need a reliable source of food. Research your surroundings and clear the area of debris in order to begin farming. So they sent me out here to establish a new colony and they get a cut? Okay. <laughs> is this where I am right here on this? Okay. Okay, that sounds fair, right? Yeah, is it considered 2.5D? I've never played a 2.5D game. I've seen lots of, yeah, like Octopath Travelers, one definitely that comes to mind, Jendin. I've seen a lot of games, game trailers for them, but I've never played one, so this is cool. Okay. I was reading that. Nice. 
Nice. Very satisfying. Your Omninac collates knowledge of new worlds. It fills in as you discover new items, and it contains a lot of useful information for surviving on a new planet. Each discovery yields Omni stars that will earn you respect from your peers. Press O. Okay. So... Oh, wow. So I just collected iron ore. There's going to be fish. <gasps> Space cow? Bugs? I want a space cow. And I got one star from that. Cool. Okay. Whole new world. Earn archaeology and geology omni stars. Okay. Hi, Jessica. Hello. Welcome in. In the future, we'll have no reason to read. <laughs> I've played so many games lately that are, yeah, Everdream Valley was probably the worst. No, not Everdream Valley. Paleo Pines was the worst for reading. It's very well written, but it just, I'm always stumbling over the words. Is this my, this must be my stamina. Ooh, what did we get? Copper, iron, and stone. Very nice. So I got three geology stars. Now I need to get three archaeology stars. How do I do that? Survey, farmstead region. Um, your Omni tool converts coordinates into AR beacons when you're nearby. Go to each coordinate and your Omni tool will collect data. Okay. I totally know what they want me to do. Look at these crystals though. Look at them. Can I collect the, the crystals? I want the crystals. Yes. I want the crystals. Heat ice crystals with your laser tool to refill your spray tool? Oh. Oh, I don't get them. I melt them and it refills my spray tool. Okay. There better be crystals otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> if only the space cows had helmets they would need it right uh Lerato, hello welcome in that is reduce reuse recycle at its finest Alyssa. i archaeology stars how do i get the archaeology stars till soil I thought maybe if I just tilled the soil, that would work, but it didn't seem to let me. Hmm. No crystals. Game's unplayable. I feel like this game would still have... Uh, crystals. But maybe just those ones are for kind of like watering. Maybe if I just keep collecting this stuff, I'll get... Well, let me see. Archaeology, archaeology stars. Is that this one? Like artifacts? I'll just explore for now. I'll just explore. Go down. <laughs> I'll head on over. I, I thought I was just trying to figure out how to like use my tools. Oh my gosh, look at this. 
This looks crazy. Ah, uh, Fern, hello, hello. Welcome in. Ugh, oh, emails. Emails can be so time consuming. It's like crazy, actually. Wow, this is so cool. I also like the music. Cordy! Does Cordy just hang out with me? Oh, look at you guys. These crystals are so pretty. Cordy! Pep, pep. Let's go. Please. <laughs> I'm not going by myself. I need you with me at all times, please. Oh! I got a star? Because I found... Bauxite ore? Wow. Very cool, very cool. QWERTY and Kibble? I need QWERTY and Kibble art. I need someone to draw QWERTY and Kibble together. I feel like they'd be best friends. <gasps> Look at the crystals, you guys. I know I've said it 800 times, but they're so pretty. They're so pretty. You know what? Toxic air? Whatever. We have crystals. We don't need to breathe. I wonder if the crystals could like clear the air somehow. I got a star because I'm a star. You're a star. You're a star. Oh, it's getting dark. Where's my clock? Oh, here, 6 p.m.? Negative three degrees Celsius? Oh, it's in Celsius. That means something to me. It's lose day? Pre-season? I'm so tired? Oh, okay, we get tired at 7 p.m.? Uh, Lawrence, hello. Thank you for lurking. Robin, hello. Pretty crystals over oxygen. Agreed. Uh, Ezzy, hello, hello. Ooh, hot tub. Oh my gosh, I want a hot tub. Performing activities drain stamina. Some more than others. The later it gets at night, the more exhausted you'll become. Very on the mark with the genre. Which is perfect. I know what to expect. Look at these, though. Look how they light up. <gasps> you guys... Are you kidding me? That is so pretty. Wow. QWERTY! What did I tell you about dilly-dallying? Come on, buddy. It's bedtime. My goodness gracious. Come on. I believe in you. Loving this game so far. Same, same. I'm going to bed. I'm a little concerned about QWERTY. <laughs> there you go, okay. Let's go to bed. Oh, let's not burn the bed. Let's go to sleep. I wonder what time pass out time is. That felt so early to go to bed. I earned four stars. No sales today, what a shock. Colony of one, that's me. I'm the colony. I'm the colony. Cool, I love a good end of day summary. Pre-season, day two. A new delivery, ooh. I still didn't get my archeology span stars. Farming supplies. In order to expand the farm and grow more produce, you will need to purchase farming supplies. These can be bought from your lander terminal 
To help get you started, we've generously provided you with a delivery pad and some basic supplies. You can find these on said pad outside your RV. Remember that you must continue to expand the farm in order to stay on top of the demand for food in our growing colony. Oh yeah, all these people. I can barely keep up. Should you fail to grow enough food, the colony will shrivel. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Everybody listen up. Should you fail to grow enough food, the colony will shrivel and you will be fired, starved to death, or both, depending on circumstance. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. So, the, P the PGP, Karen, do you work for the PGP? Actually, I don't even think Karen is that evil. You will be unable to buy supplies if your land or terminal is broken. Okay. I don't even think Karen's that evil. This isn't don't starve. It's like, don't, don't perish. The new title. Okay, where's my landing pad thing? Humble beginnings. A whole new world? Humble beginnings, get seeds from delivery pad. Why am I, I'm hungry? I'm hungry, oh no. Okay, maybe, maybe I do need to worry a bit. Is there a map? Such an encouraging message, right? Anastasia says, I'm just here for cozy games. This is cozy, don't worry, this is cozy. Can't believe QWERTY isn't included as a colonist. I know, how rude. How rude. Reminds me of when Sarah was playing Stray. Oh, I want to play that again so bad. I want Stray 2. Where's Stray 2? Stray DLC? Stray but dog? I want all of it. I want... I want a, another Stray game with a dog. As the main character. That would make my entire... Like, I, that would make, it just be perfect. I don't want to say my entire life, because that's a little dramatic, but oh my gosh. I love dogs. Okay, I'm looking for the... <laughs> Can I track this? So, my main struggle is finding things right now. That's my main struggle. You start out with the big company, but realize it's bad and start your own small town and run big business out. I like that. Stray 2 was teased? Um, I thought so too. But then they were like, on Twitter, they were like, it's definitely not a cat or Silent Hill, I think is what they said. <laughs> But I don't know if that was sarcastic or if they're saying it's not a cat because it's going to be a dog. I need stray but a dog. Sorry. <laughs> I can't find you guys. I can't. I don't know what I'm Maybe I'm going the wrong way now. Maybe I need to go to the right. I'm using my whole day just to try and find this landing pad. Oh my gosh, it's literally right here. Put me in a timeout. Put me in a timeout. Wouldn't mind another Stray playthrough? I really, if they come out with anything new for the Stray series, if it becomes a series or DLC, I will do a playthrough of the game. And like before, like to hype up, you know? Absolutely. Okay, so. We're pro gamers here. <laughs> okay, so now I can do the thing with the soil. Oh, and it has to be this. Okay, got it. It has to be fertile soil, not dry, lifeless soil. Okay. I was still trying to find the archaeology things I need, which I didn't find. Let's start our garden. Here. 
Don't worry about it, chat. Don't worry about it. He didn't see anything. I was just taking my morning stroll. <gasps> I can talk to QWERTY? Beep boop. Wait, I want to say more. Can I not? <laughs> can I not get rid of that? Oh, it's the, is it sand? Oh, these are sand piles. Cool. Milk root seed. Wait, this is cool. Okay, this is where I'm going to start my... My farm. What do I have for seeds? Eight potatoes. Eight carrots. Eight bok choy. Okay. Eight. Gordy, excuse me. Okay, I'll go this way. Gordy says, no, this is my spot. Gordy, come here. Gordy, come here. Thank you. Ah, uh, Spiffy, hello, hello. I'm trying to set this up all nice. Oh my gosh, QWERTY just wants to help. Wait, this is so satisfying. I wonder if we can customize our character in the full thing. I'm curious. I don't remember if I've seen anything about character customization. The crunchy sound, I love it. The sound design is really good for this game, for sure. Very satisfying. Ah, uh, Bobby, thank you for lurking. QWERTY, oh my gosh, you always want to help me and I appreciate you so much, buddy. Thank you. Okay, I also have this one random seed that I could plant. Oops. Okay, and then I have to water, which is this one, I think. Spray tool, yes. Oh, and it gets like three at a time. Okay, so I probably didn't set this up the best for this specific tool, but that's okay. And so we learned earlier that we refill this with crystals, which is pretty cool. Okay. So that's good. New task available. Oh my gosh, so many tasks. Get nutrient paste. I brought some nutrient paste with me. It's in QWERTY's storage unit. To access it, I need to talk to QWERTY. Then open his storage. QWERTY has storage? Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh. Can I have one of these, please? Can I just take one? I have to take the whole stack. Okay, I'll take them all, I guess. I really just wanted one. If you do not eat, you start the next day tired. Oh! If you don't eat, you start the next day tired. So even if you go to bed, you don't fully get your stamina replenished unless you're, like, full as well. Interesting, interesting, okay. Eat. 
Eat. Eat. Eat. Eat. Give. Oh, I can give a gift. I can give a gift to QWERTY. Forging strong relationships is essential to growing your colony. Gifts, quests, and dialogue choices can improve or worsen relationships. Find out what gifts each colonist prefers. Keep track of relationships in the OmniTool OS. So you can lose relationship points. Can I give you these back, buddy? Thank you. So... Cordy and Kibble definitely need to be friends because Kibble is like our self-care bot and seems like Cordy is too. I don't know why I still couldn't find the archaeology stuff. Let me just check my quests again. Earn archaeology omni stars. I can use Oh, we find we find them with the gust tool that we just well, I just discovered how to use that. Okay. So we can do that the next day easily. And then we have to find these different spots on the planet. The different coordinates. Okay. Okay. Got it. Let's go to bed. I really like this game so far. Um, Spiffy, thank you for lurking. Vovi, thank you for lurking. I forgot if I said that or not. Go to sleep. I need to fix that up too. Cordy is so cute, Jack. Uh, BB, hello, hello. Oh yeah, you were gifted a membership. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can use the emotes. I still can't believe Cordy's not part of our colony. That's so rude. I consider Cordy a part of my colony. Oh my gosh! Wait, oh my gosh, what's happening? QWERTY? It's an earthquake? Do you feel the ground shaking or is that just me? Great, we're near a fault line. Of course we are. Yeah. Worried beep. Oh no. QWERTY. What's happening? Oh? Well, that's useful. I'll take it. What is this? Looks like we can cross over now. I wonder where it leads. So happy you like this game. I've been loving it. Yeah, I really like it so far. I'm just getting like adjusted too. Cause it's like different tools, which I love, uh, like a twist, you know? Cause when you play so many farm sims, you get used to kind of like the same tools um, so it's- it's fun to, like, learn something new, but I do have to get used to that. Relaxation area. Cordy has set up a relaxation area outside. Enjoy. Wait, this is a- Oh, this is from Cordy. Cordy sent us mail. Ah, Sammy, hello, welcome in. You guys, Cordy sent us mail. Cordy bought Q5G7MQY4BKQR5CK has set up a relaxation area outside. Enjoy. Thank you, QWERTY! You set this up? Did you set this up yourself? Beep boop. You did awesome. I'll give- I'd give you a gift. I don't have anything, though. That's so sweet. Okay, wait, let me- I guess I can go this way, but I really want to... use this gust tool. Only colonists can send mail? Yeah, that makes- that makes QWERTY a colonist. It's official. Oh, look! We found something. A black box. Every human starship must have one by law. Oh, someone's been here? Oh yeah, let's also water. These, before I forget. Cause you know I will. Yeah, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely would do a different layout now that I know this is the, the tool layout. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I gotta get used to these tools. Gotta refill with these crystals.
I'm so curious. I'm confused why there are question marks. Oh, is this one of the points I have to discover? Oh, we're discovering them? Got it. Got it. Got it. Yes, coordinate one. So we got one of the coordinates. That's good. Okay, let's go over that bridge. Oh, no, no. Actually, I want to try and find a few more artifacts first. Uh, Siana, hello, hello. You have an ice cream. You must have been... If you're not signed up as a member, then you must have been gifted another membership. If you have an ice cream. That's what would have happened. Or your membership renewed. One of the two. I wonder if I can get rid of this. No. Can't undo. Okay, good to know. Or I, I don't know how to undo it. Maybe there'll be more dust piles over the bridge. Do two for one. Two for one. There are. That's so fun that you can literally like... It's like not... Instead of like digging for artifacts, you're like brushing away the sand. And other debris. This actually seems like a big, like, area to work with. There's a lot of land. Uh, Jen didn't take care. Yes, definitely check it out. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great rest of your time zone. Give me this. Milk. Oh, more milk root. Good. Very good, very good. Oh, we found one. Nice. Mysterious fossil. A frightened, a frighteningly long fluted claw. The bottom looks like it may have been serrated. Maybe it was cutlery? Wait. <laughs> cutlery or claw? More seeds. Excellent, excellent. Oh. Got some kind of cutscene. Oh no, just a new area with more crystals. Oh, and uh, an artifact, nice. What is that? A data log. Interesting. New blueprint? Smart locker blueprint. We can make a metal smart locker for storing supplies. Unlocked blueprints can be made at any fabricator. An Omnipot? Oh, we can make a like decorative pots. That's cute. Wow, this is, oh, what's this? What's this? Give me something shiny. <gasps> Eldracite ore? I like it. I don't know what it is, but I like it. I know I love that this whole game is just covered in crystals. Uh, Spiffy, take care. Thank you for stopping in. I'm just exploring. I don't know if there's a destination for me, but <gasps> look at this. <gasps> what are these? Can I have one? <laughs> Can I have one? These are so cool. I bet you there's a planet out there with crystals that look exactly like that. There's gotta be, right? Another game you now want, Jack? 
Oops, let's not water the sand. I don't know if I should say sorry or <laughs> be excited. I love discovering more and more games. It's just hard because then there's not enough time to play all of them for me, but you know, one day. There's another area. I know it's getting late, but... Oh, look at these. What is this? Like lava? <gasps> scarlet sodium. Used to make scarlet salt? Interesting. I don't know if I can make it back to my... My ship. I'm pretty far. Oh, there's another- oh my gosh. It's like a maze. Okay, Cordy, we need to go back. It's getting dark. It's late. I don't even know where I am. Lizzie, hello, hello. I also get invested in your playthroughs. But no, there's way too many amazing games to keep up with all of them. I know. I know. I wish I could do con like continuations of all my favorite games. And I keep thinking like, okay, once we've tried out all the new games, then I'll do, we'll still do like the three cozy games, but we'll do like continuations of our favorites. But then like new games come out. <laughs> so it's like new games keep coming out. So I haven't reached a point yet where it's like, okay, now we can go back to like even Roots of Pacha, even like Sunhaven, like it's a good problem to have though, for sure. If I could like clone myself too, then we could get like video playthroughs, but let's go to sleep. I'm So we're testing this because apparently I'm gonna wake up still like hungry with no stamina, right? Because I didn't eat. I want to test that out. Oh, and we... Okay, we got all the stars. Even more stars. No sails. Okay. Very good. I know I want to play more Sunhaven cheese. I do. I want to play more of, like, every game that I've said I want to play more of on the channel. I'm starving. Okay, so... It has this. Now, can I... If I eat... Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff in my... I don't need this in my toolbar. I do need to try and build that storage system. I wanna see if I just can't replenish that at all or if I will when I eat. No, I will, okay. I get it. It's not that big of a deal. The Fabricator is an essential item for surviving on a new planet. Use it to craft items with your available resources. Okay, so can I make that? Oh! Wood? Oh, I have to make wood? Yellow crate. Folding chair. Packaging. Smart locker. I think that's what I- Oh, steel ingot and aluminum? That's not happening. Fabric? The pot. I can make that. I definitely don't need to. <laughs> Futuristic pot that resizes itself to its contents. I'm not sure how that works, but I suspect black magic. That's so funny. <laughs> um, a red crate. A junk sign. And a silver crate. Can I make... No, I still even need steel ingots. So I can't make any of that. I can make this, though. I just want to make this pot for fun. Uh, Alyssa says, all I know is that when Cuisineer finally comes out, my hours played is going to be in triple digits. Alyssa, I, like, have not stopped thinking about that game, to be honest. Like, oh my gosh, I wanted to- I want to play more so bad. That was so fun. Can I put it here? Okay, there's certain areas I can't place things in. Oh my gosh, it's so little. Wait, how do I put something in it? Till the soil? Oh my gosh, I have to till... <laughs> till the soil in it? No. Wait, what?
Okay, I clearly don't know how to use it. I clearly don't know how to use this pot. Uh, Danny, hello, hello, welcome in. Wonder if we'll find a red barrel here. Could you imagine? You would love Ghosty Jack? Oh my gosh, that one too. That one too. Any games you should look out for in July, Zoe? Oh my gosh, probably. I'll have to look at my... My planner. I have it all written down in my... My planner. I'm a, if we find a red barrel here... Oh my gosh. Wait, why am I still learning about these? Let's water them again. I don't know why I couldn't plant anything. Maybe I need actual soil for it. I'm not sure. I'm gonna place it like here so it doesn't take up pocket space. Maybe it was a mistake to craft it, but I wanted to try it out. I wanted to see like if I could grow anything in it. Maybe only certain seeds are plants. Yeah, like maybe none of the crops. Maybe I need like an actual flower or something. Oh, I need a bit more water. And then I guess I'll just plant the other ones as well. Cordy, excuse me. I, you guys, the scroll wheel is like backwards. It's messing with my brain so much. Like I'm used to scrolling down to go. I'm trying to show you with my hands. You can't see me. It's the opposite of what I'm used to for the scroll wheel. So I'm, it's messing with my brain. You can change it in the settings. Oh my gosh. Where do I get to the settings? Escape didn't work. <laughs> yeah, scrolling down goes left and scrolling up goes... I don't know. I can't use my... It's not... It's the opposite of Coral Island. So, <laughs> whatever that is. <laughs> oh, it just brings me here. Oh, maybe down here. Settings, got it. Controls. Hot bar. Mm. Oh my gosh, there's so many settings. Hold on. Inver is it just literally this one? Oh my gosh, it's literally this one. Me looking through all of them. Sarah, go to sleep. Ah, much better. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. It was driving me crazy. It's so backwards. It's like when you have like camera control like inverted. Oh, it messes with my brain. There's a work program that my company uses that does the same and it drives me insane because it can't be changed. Oh my gosh. Drove you crazy too, Cheese? I was just like silently suffering. I was like, you know what? I'm glad I said something. Thank you so much. <laughs> I was like, I, I can do this. I can do this. I can do it. So we have to find these coordinates. I think that was... Okay. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of user interfaces. Player name. Inventory. Tasks. Mail. Relationships. Gordy. Favorite gift is a sunflower. Oh, The 60th of... Wait, how many days are there per season? Cordy's birthday is the 60th of preseason. We're in preseason four on fur day. <laughs> Negative four degrees Celsius. Weekly gifts. I haven't given. I need to find a sunflower for Cordy. Started out as a Christmas gift, but has become a trusted companion. The best Christmas gift ever. Uh, Miu, thank you so much for lurking. Cordy, I'll find you a sunflower. Oh, we do have a map. Wait, this is the map? 
Where am I? Okay, I understand the UI a bit more now. I didn't even really perceive this part of it. Got it. So yeah, we're trying to find these coordinates. Oh my gosh, so much better. <laughs> so much better. I want to see if I can find other artifacts. I feel like that's so fun. Oh yeah, let's go back this way. Oh look, another one of these data logs. Readable? I guess I can read them. That's cool. The demo season. Oh, that would make sense. Oh! Noah Nut. Hardy Alien Nut. Needs 12 days. Okay. Interesting. Oh, wait, weather. They have weather conditions? Cool. Cordy's like scared to cross the bridge. I don't blame you, buddy. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I believe in you. You got this. Look at him. He's so nervous. Chat, cheer him on. Cheer him on. We need some Quirties. Look at him. Oh, so brave. So brave. You can do it. You're almost there. You're almost there. There you go. Aww. Thank you, chat. <laughs> go, Cordy, go. You looked so nervous. I get it. It's like a skinny bridge. Uh, Melik, hello. Welcome in. Jesus, not me actually crying. Seriously. I want a real life QWERTY. Oh, another area? Whoa, what's this? I love all these different shiny things. That is Palisite, a gray metallic meteorite fragment covered in green, yellow peridots. <gasps> Crystals confirmed. Peridots. So far, I feel like we've only seen minerals, or collected minerals. We've seen tons of crystals. Love it. Is that a... That looks open. Right? That looks like a... I would fall. QWERTY, watch out, please. I think you can fall in that. Don't! No, 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 QWERTY! This way, please. Oh my gosh. Having flashbacks to when Cosmo was like nine weeks old. I panicked all the time. Nova Pop, a glowing alien fruit, grows in cold and mild climates. So it has to be colder than 14 degrees Celsius. Is that what it's saying? So I could plant these. It's negative four. Uh, Arwen, take care. Take care. Thanks so much for hanging out. Enjoy the replay when you get a chance to watch it. Uh, have a really good rest. And Kicknell, take care as well. Take care, take care. Enjoy the rest of your time zone if I don't see you again. I don't want to have a bedtime in this game. There's too much to explore. I mean, it's like any game with a bedtime. I think that's actually one of my favorite things about Dinkum. Is like, when it's late, your day doesn't end. You just have a really tiny stamina bar. So you can still do a ton of stuff. Uh, unless you're in the mines, you can still do a ton of stuff. You just have like a little bit of stamina. And I like that because I like staying up late. Ugh, why are you tired again? I mean, to be fair, we're on a planet with toxic air and like nothing, no life. So I feel like I might pass out. It's kind of late. I kind of pushed my luck here. I just want to keep exploring. 
Oh, and not this bridge, QWERTY. I'm gonna just trust you're gonna make it over because I, I don't have time to... to spare here. Wait, I came from this way, right? But... No, I didn't. This way. I just went around in a circle. I went around in a circle. I like the growing conditions for plants too, Jack. Look, QWERTY's here. QWERTY's fine. QWERTY, come on. QWERTY- Okay, so QWERTY's scared of heights, and I think that's so cute. I wish I could just pick QWERTY up, bring him over the bridges. Buddy, come on. Oh, he's getting braver. That's good. Okay. Bedtime? I'm liking this game, you guys. Oh! Am I okay? QWERTY, are we okay? Low hydration reminder, my friends. Prodding beep. Yeah, it's been- Oh, it's been hard to keep smiling lately. Is QWERTY sad? Defeated beep. QWERTY, it's okay. You crossed a bridge. You should be proud of yourself. Tell you what, why don't we take a break? Just us, the hollow fire, and the stars. Aww. Oh, that's so cute. Bonding time with QWERTY. Do you think we've made a mistake? Never thought I'd miss people so much. It's just so desolate, there's nothing here. When I took this job, I was expecting the PGP to, you know, help. Aw. Lonely beep. And the game is called One Lonely Outpost. I thought I wanted to get away from people for a while, get some peace and quiet. There's quiet, sure, but no peace. I never thought I'd miss all the noise. The quiet is so oppressive. When I look out into the dark, I swear it looks back. I don't feel safe. I feel insignificant, like the space dust circling a nebula. Melancholic beep? Wait, the writing is really good. I didn't expect there to be like... Of course there'd be a story, Sarah. Of course there'd be a story. QWERTY! Aww. End of day. That was so sweet. It's okay, it won't stay lonely forever. It takes you on such a journey. I wasn't expecting it for some reason. Can I have QWERTY and Kibble in real life, Lizzie? Right? So I was saying, I need them. I need them. I know it's so pretty at night. I want to like explore more. I don't want to go to bed. I don't want to go to bed. I don't have the stuff still to craft storage. Um, so I'll just keep it here for now. Oh, can't stack. I'm gonna plant these seeds, I think. I think according to the conditions, I can? Like, the weather's good for it. Oh, grows in any climate. Grows in cold and mild climates. Oh. Okay. Let me check this out. I don't know why I'm gathering information on them every day. Oh, the different- Oh, that's cute! The different growth stages. Oh, and you can- If there's a drought, off-season, dusty. Oh. We haven't discovered that yet because we haven't messed up yet. But we will. Oh, we will. What happens when- it That's cool. Very detailed information. Thriving, dying. Very cool. Okay, so this- I think these are all new what I have. No, no, I want to get rid of this first. 
I guess I can't fully get rid of these. Hmm, okay, we'll go forward. Uh, Kari, hello. When I was watching the live from yesterday, the cat I'm fostering was trying to jump through the screen to you. Aww. That's so cute. I love seeing pictures from you guys when your animals are like watching the stream. It's the cutest thing in the entire world. You need a QWERTY sticker, Carlos? I need a sticker of everything. Every time we play a game, I'm like, okay, now I need a sticker of this. I just need a better place to put all my stickers. I'm trying to think what the optimal like layout would be for these crops with this like three by one range. Maybe just rows of three instead of two like I was doing. Okay, very good, very good. I hope we'll have them find friends. Me too. Imagine another little- <gasps> What if someone else comes to settle here and they have like... A little buddy like this and then they become best friends. It'd be so cute. Okay, let's go explore. Let's- I'm going right away. How is it already noon? I need to make some way here with exploring. I feel like I keep getting- well, I keep- I get a little bit further each day, and I think I'm going the wrong way. I would love to have- I don't know if the map is functional or not. Because I don't know where I am on here. A Coral Island NPC shows up with kibble? Which- which NPC would show up here? It'd have to be like Alice or Noah, right? Uh, Anastasia, thank you for lurking. Ling? True. True, Heather. Or Ling. Zara? Zara is the adventurer. Ling has, like, the tech. I guess just because Alice and Noah are into <laughs> aliens doesn't mean they'd want to go to an alien planet. I'm gonna let QWERTY explore. Because I need to figure out if we can go any further over here. Before it's- oh! You're right here. Hi, buddy. When worlds collide. Could you imagine? Aaliyah! True! Aaliyah wants to be an astronaut. Maybe Aaliyah would bring, like, Noah, Ling... Maybe- maybe they'd all visit. Can I even go- can I go in here? For science? Should I- This seems like a bad idea. Okay, it won't let me. Good. <laughs> I was gonna say, this seems like a bad idea. It won't let me. I wonder why that's there, though. There's gotta be a reason. This looks like an area that's gonna open up right here. Eventually. I wonder if there are, like, cave-type things in this game or not. I do like the music too. I know I said that earlier, but there's a nice uh, range of tracks. Another Nova Pop seed. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is like a waterfall, but not water and not falling. Looks super cool. Looks like ice. Noah wouldn't want to leave Betty. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Alyssa says I'm craving chaos. Yeah, no, not too much chaos. Which sometimes is, sometimes I need it. Like I need, I need to not have it. <laughs> Depending on the day. I always welcome a healthy amount of chaos though. Oh 
my gosh. This is so cool. I wasn't sure. Okay, I have to be honest because if you look at the original trailer, they changed the art style. Like, it wasn't supposed to be this, like, 2.5D. It was originally, like, 2D. And when I saw they switched it up, I wasn't sure about it. Um, I'm sure about it now. I really like it. I think it looks really nice. And I think it's good for this specific kind of landscape, too. Like, these crystals wouldn't be as effective in 2D. The environments are, like, much more impactful. But then I still like having the pixel art character. I heard the member streams are chaos, Daniela, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. They're either like the coziest stream ever or like the most chaotic. I feel like we never have an in-between on member streams. Wait, 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 look at these crystals. Look at these ones, those are so cool. No, I want it, Ugh, I want it to look longer. I feel like I've ventured out very far and I don't know if this is where the coordinates are gonna be. I love these ones. These ones are so pretty. Alyssa says, I have no clue what you're talking about. Nothing happens in those streams. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Alyssa. Ooh, jewel fruit, okay. Jewel fruit, my favorite. That's my new favorite fruit. I like that you can find different seeds in these different areas just from like clearing the dust. Clearing the dust. And I know I should be going back to my ship. I just don't want to. I just don't want to, but you probably can make me. Look at these crystals, you guys. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. It looks really nice, Shannon. Yeah, I, I agree. It's nice to see the... I like the 3D, 2D combination. I really do. I guess I should head back to the ship if I can even find my way back. <laughs> I'm like determined each day I'm gonna get further and discover something new and I do, but then I have to go all the way back. And poor QWERTY's probably like, oh, Sarah, must you venture out so far? Oh, this was like a shortcut back. I like looped around. Well, that wasn't as far as I thought I would be. That's cool. Maybe I went- maybe this is the map? Maybe I went like... I don't know. Um, I think there is a... new, like, indie game sticker collection going up today. I think it's today. What day is it? 22nd on Threading Pixels, uh, for those of you who were mentioning earlier about stickers and stuff. Um, I don't know exactly what games will be a part of it, but probably some of your favorites. Because I'm sure they're... I know it's getting late. Let me do more. They'll probably be some of our favorite games. So you guys could check that out if you wanted to. Okay, we took care of everything. That's good. Let's go to bed. Two, two, two. Ah, uh, Bree, thank you for lurking. And Johnny, hello, hello. Welcome in. Welcome back. Still only have one person in our colony. We got some stars. No sails. How do I make sails? Did I miss that? Uh, tilapia, hello, thank you for lurking. Starving? Ugh, don't be so dramatic. 
<laughs> it's like this much down. That's not starving. Uh, let me see. Can I grow the jewel fruit? Because I really want to. Fibrous Martian fruit. Grows in mild climates. <laughs> Wait, grows in... I guess now I can grow it. Nova Pop? Oh no, which one was Nova Pop? Was it this one? I guess I can. This is where this comes in handy. Nova Pop is that one. This one. Oh, I love that. There's so many times when I plant things in games and I'm like, I don't remember <laughs> which is which. So that is super helpful. I'm planting some of everything. My garden is so cute. Out of water? Oh no. So now I definitely can't say I don't like space games between this game and Distant Bloom. I think what it was, you guys, I was never really like drawn to the space setting for some reason, but also it was honestly more that it felt like there was that period of time where every game announcement was a space game. I don't know if you guys remember that time. I feel like it was just like last, maybe last year and the year before. Like every game was a space game. And I was like, I just wanted to see like other settings. I wanted to see more like cozy farm sims. And every game was a space game. And I think that is kind of what did it for me. So now that we're kind of out of that period of time where every game was a space game. I don't feel that way. Like I don't feel resentment towards space games anymore. But I did because I was like, no, I want to like cozy like cottage core game or like a, I don't know. I just wanted not space. Yeah, there was a lot, right? And now it's true. There's been more farm sims lately. Um, and I actually like probably other people who don't play farm sims are probably like, oh my gosh, not another farm sim, not another cozy game. And we're like, yes, yes, we love the cozy games. Give us all of them. Uh, Carol, hello, welcome in. Not into space games, Zoe, that's fair. I think for me, it's like very specific. I mean, this is a farm sim, so that definitely helps. Um, okay, what should I be doing? I feel like I'm really gonna need storage here, but I don't know how to make what I need. Like, I need ingots, and I don't have machinery to make that, I don't think. I can only do one space game per year. I feel like I could do a couple. I feel like, oh, here's one of the spots we need. I feel like I could do a couple. Maybe even a few, but it depends on like the type of space game, like what's involved in it. If it's just like space exploration, probably one. If we have these like farm and like sim elements, I could do more. Um, right now I'm all alone, except for I have QWERTY. I have QWERTY. Beep boop. Um, but you can actually grow a colony and, you know, if you restore this- I mean, we can't even breathe the air right now. <laughs> so we really have to restore the planet. And then hopefully people will move here, is kind of the plan. 
but I feel like I'm very far off from that. Reach coordinate two. Okay, so maybe they're not as far away as I'm thinking they are. They might just be in this area. Like it's probably just down here. I'm thinking I have to venture out into the great beyond, but it's like next door. Does Stray count as a space game? I wouldn't count it as, I feel like it's like post-apocalyptic, cyberpunky like vibes. I wouldn't count it as a space game. Things with like robots and like cyberpunk vibes, I can do a lot more of. I really like that aesthetic. Here we go. See, it was so close. Oh, okay. So it is the map. And I was wandering out here to find coordinates instead of right here. And so then when you find the coordinates, you actually unlock the map. Okay, that's useful. Reach coordinate one. Wait, what? Another one? I'm getting low on food here. I'm so tired. It's four o'clock. I know you need food, but reach coordinate one. Okay, which one was that? <laughs> Does it show me on the map? What's my take on the UI for the game? Zoe, for me, it's a little bit confusing. I like how much detailed information there is. Um, this part of it is what's confusing to me. Maybe just because I'm used to having it go like this way for the different categories and then this way for like subcategories. So I just have to like retrain my brain to use it. Coordinate one was somewhere. I didn't keep track of which was which number. I just went to them. A little too busy, Zoe. There's definitely a lot going on. There's definitely a lot going on, so I could see that. It's kind of hard to, they have so much information that they need to or they want to include. Um, but yeah, and I'm like not familiar with the icons yet to be like, oh, this is my quest one. Okay, let me see what I'm actually supposed to be doing. Oh, survey the different areas? The canyon. Now that I can leave, oh, I've been leaving the farmstead. Okay. Classic, you guys, does anyone else, is anyone else like me where they like jump ahead or like think more complicated than what you're supposed to do? Like it's something simple, but you like go 10 steps further or like you're meant to just explore this area, but you're like out on the other side of the map. Like is anyone else like that? Because I feel like I put myself behind on things so often because I'm thinking like, further ahead you do cheese shannon you too sometimes johnny tansy you too okay i'm glad i'm not alone because sometimes i feel like silly because i'm like oh i was thinking so far ahead like i need to explore the edge of the map when it's literally next door to me i just get excited no customization anastasia i'm actually not sure i actually have no idea about that i think it's I think they've got to have customization, character customization for this game. I don't see how you wouldn't. I really don't see how you wouldn't. It's like the game that needs that, right? Like everything else is there to create your own outpost. Um, I think I'm just going to go to bed, you guys, because it's getting dark. I feel like you've got to have character customization. I just can't remember seeing any of that in like the trailers or I think they did a Kickstarter. I don't remember seeing that either. But the one thing is that in the like game art and the main menu, the character's different from this one. So I think it must have 
customization. But I'm curious about that too, because I don't have a definitive answer on my end yet. Um, but I, I would love if it to be honest if it doesn't have character customization that would be really sad to me because i feel like it it needs it i often explore the map before i'm supposed to jack same same well think about coral island i mean coral island was a little different because i'd anticipated it for so long but i spent the whole like first stream just exploring the map it was like seven hours of exploration <laughs> so i'm the same I am the same. So now I kind of know what I'm doing. I can venture out. Are you eating right? Oh no, not mom. Mom's probably so worried. Could you imagine if your kid just goes out by themselves to some planet? Sorry, you're not a kid anymore. I just can't stop thinking of you as my little dove, no matter how old you get. I wanted to check in and see how you're doing on that great big adventure of yours and offer some motherly wisdom, which is this. Remember to feed yourself. Cooking is an important skill, and yeah, it takes time to learn, but I believe you can do it. I imagine you out there in that new colony just eating raw ingredients, and it upsets me. So please, for my sake and your own, cook your own food. We can cook food. Cook your food. I've attached a cooker blueprint in case you don't have anything to cook with, and your favorite raspberry pie recipe. I hope it makes that new colony feel like home. Oh yeah, just me, QWERTY, and some raspberry pie. That's all I wanted to say. I won't go on about it anymore. Okay, wait, we can cook. You guys, we can cook. Can I make it? Blueprint detailing how to fabricate a fabricator, which came first. <laughs> Uh, and a cooker. And an Omni Forge, which smelts ore. Wait, this is what I need. I need this. Raspberry Pi recipe. Okay, let's see what we need for these things. All games should have basic customization now. I agree, Cyber Frogs, unless it's like a story of a certain character and they the developers want to tell the story of a character. Like, I'm thinking like Last of Us style, like... Um, I don't know. You guys know what I mean. Like a game like that where it's very story based and you play as that character. I think if it's like a simulation game, it should probably have character customization or at least like some options because I agree it's harder for me to play like that type of game if I'm not myself in it. Um, like if we're writing our own story, then I want to look like myself or like close to it. Plus, it's so fun to like put yourself in these games. Uh, so I need, yeah, so I definitely need the thing for the ore first, which I can make. I have the stuff to do it. Let's make one of those. Perfect. Oh, machines must be placed within range of a power source to function. Each power source can only supply a few machines. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Oh, it did get warmer, didn't it? Negative three. Interesting. I like that there's weather. I sometimes can't get into the characters. Oh, when it's like someone else's story. Me too. It depends on the game for sure. You're getting character customization for Pikmin? I missed that. I, I told you I have to watch the direct again. Uh, interact with fully grown crops to harvest them. Oh, does that mean my crops are ready? Please. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Use Omni Smelters to refine ore. And let me actually, before I jump ahead here, let me see what I need for the cooker. Oh my gosh, I need a lot of stuff. Eldracite, steel, aluminum. What do I need for storage? Steel. Oh, and then I can make another fabricator to like put outside basically. I get it. Okay, so steel, aluminum, and eldracite. Let's see if I can remember that. Um, what do I even have? I 
I don't even have enough of what I need. <laughs> I used it all to craft this. I have to collect more. Wait, what about this one? No. It's copper. Oh, I can't stack those. I wish I could stack these. I guess they're different though. So yeah, I only have one. I'm sure I need more than one. How many do I need? Okay, well, I don't know. It doesn't tell me how, but I'll collect more stuff. I will collect more stuff. Uh, Annabelle, hello, hello. Can I harvest my crops? <gasps> I can harvest my carrots. Oh, and you get some seeds back too. And some green waste. Nice. So I'm probably just going to plant more carrots. I got 21 carrots. Oh, and I got eight back. Did I plan that? Did I literally plan that? Like exactly the number of plots I have? That's awesome. It was in a little trailer they did back a month ago. Oh, okay. I must have missed that then. I'll have to check it out. I didn't know that. Dyson, hello, hello. Happy to see you. Thank you for lurking. Yeah, loving this, loving the the art style for this game. Um, any more water? Will I play Pikmin? It looks really fun. I'm undecided. It looks really fun. I just... You guys, there's so many games. I feel like it'd be fun to try. I've never played one of the Pikmin games before. I wonder if these ever go away or if they come back or neither. <laughs> they just stay like that. Pikmin 3 was the first you played, Jack. And it's the top five Switch games for you. Okay, sounds like I need to play it then. Sounds like I need to play it. One and two are getting remastered. I saw, is that they're getting, or are they getting ported or I don't know what. I saw something about that in the direct. Okay, I really need storage, which means I really need more materials, which means, what did I need? Aluminum. What is this? Iron. I don't need iron, surprisingly. Maybe this one I need? I could play- I could just play Pikmin 4. Yeah, do you think it's one of those games you can get into at any version what is this no i don't need that either oh my goodness there's so many i don't remember where i know that's copper i don't need that either i might have to go to a different area yeah aluminum the one with the little crystal bits <laughs> and oh I just need steel do I even need aluminum I do for this I just need steel for storage eldersite aluminum steel aluminum steel aluminum 
shiny. Okay. Where did I find steel before? Gotta be over here somewhere. Not up here. Here's a point though. I need that. Okay, so this was for the canyon. Got it. Where all the bridges are. Little hydration reminder, my friends. Okay. Um. Oh, this one. What is this one? That's what I need. I need this. Found one of them. That's good. Okay. So I just still need to find aluminum and... Oh my gosh, steel? What was <laughs> I wish I could track it. Maybe there is a way I could track it, but I didn't see that. I'll just collect a lot of this stuff because I know I need it. I'm so tired. Don't be tired. We have lots of work to do. Another point. I don't think I need this. No, I don't need that one. Okay, it's getting dark. I should go back again. I wonder if there'll ever be like fast travel in this game. If you can like set that up. Uh, Kitty, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome in, welcome in. I would love fast travel. <laughs> Here's a point. Okay, I need to find one more and then I'll unlock this area on the map. My goodness. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get lost. What is this? I think this is the one I don't need. Yep. Space farm sim vibes, totally Annabelle. You like the music? I like it too. There's a good variety. And I like that there's always music. It seems like, for the most part anyway. I haven't noticed like too much silence, which I really appreciate. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the spaceship because I'm sure you probably pass out if you get to midnight or something. Alyssa says, I'm in desperate need of a mini map, the aimless wandering. I know, right? Like, I don't know how helpful this map exactly is. Like, I guess it can help you get back to where you need to be, but. Yeah, I don't know. A mini map would be awesome. Uh, oh, I should see if I can turn this into a bar. Wait, how many do I need? Am I doing something wrong?
this much? Does it need to fill? Oh, wait, wait. Maybe it's working? It didn't give me any indication that it was working. I think it's working. <laughs> yep, it's working. Oh, do you only need one? Okay. That did not tell me. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to pass out. The way it, it operates did not tell me that it was working. I get it, though. I get it now. But I was expecting some kind of, like feedback that what I put in the machine was sufficient. Okay. I get it. I get it. Yeah, the game is releasing into early access next week, Annabelle. If only games had a consistent pass out time. I know because we get them mixed up all the time. Uh, another hard day of work, QWERTY, but that's colony life. I'm glad you're here to share it with me. It's all a bit more bearable with company, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine not having QWERTY. I wouldn't be able to handle it. Want to take a walk? Agreeable beep. I like an agreeable beep. No sad beeps. I know life out here is tough, and it's not what either of us expected, but there has to be a bright side, right? Things have been a bit easier in the past few days. Maybe our luck is finally starting to turn. And there are so many possibilities for us out here, right? Yeah, let's look at the bright side. We could be daring explorers. Swashbuckling beep. It's cute. Brilliant scientists. Analytical beep. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, or maybe we could just live quiet lives as farmers. Maybe we can start a business selling sand. Oh, let's not go with that one. We'll live as quiet farmers. Oh. Encouraging... Beep? That's strange. What was that? Oh, I don't like the sound. By the moons above. I just had a flashback to Tears of the Kingdom. There's a sound effect in Tears of the Kingdom that freaks me out and it, it sounded kind of like that. Uh, alien runes and they seem to be functioning? Wait, is that building breathing? Whatever these things are, they better not try anything. Are they alien ruins? Awestruck beep. Did they really name QWERTY off of the... Yeah, the keyboard. <laughs> uh, I guess we'd be rude to refuse the invitation, huh, QWERTY? No, I want to go back to farming. Please. I guess we're investigating. I guess we're investigating. Ooh. What is this? This looks spooky. Wait. What is all this? Yeah, what is this? Wondrous beep. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Quirty, no, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. Can I help? You must repair the infrastructure. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's the font that Karen was using. Do you remember this? Does anyone remember that? Finish what was started? QWERTY? QWERTY? Did you break down? I can't get any parts out here. Please. Please don't leave me. QWERTY? Don't leave me all alone. I'm gonna cry. No! No. Just take me back to the farm. QWERTY, I'm so sorry. After all this time. 
If only I knew how to repair you. Chat. This is a planet Karen already took. Wasn't that the same font? Karen already took advantage of this planet. If only we'd never gone to those stupid ruins. Well, I said I wanted to go back to the farm, actually. How do I do this without you, buddy? No, we have to fix QWERTY. This can't be it. This can't be it. We have to fix QWERTY. No. Are you kidding me? Thanks for playing our demo. Get out of here. That's the rudest thing ever. Thanks for playing our demo. Yeah, thanks. Okay, well, at least we have a happy little montage. Woo! One lonely outpost. Let's go. Cordy's fine. You guys, did they really leave it on that? I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Okay. R.I.P. Cordy, no. What a cliffhanger. <sighs> What a time it was. Bootstrap for life. I mean, this is nice. This gives you an idea of what to expect. Oh, we can go in there. <gasps> we can go in those openings, you guys. That's cool. Craft the future. Oh. Wait, there's grass. Cheerful beep. Okay, QWERTY's fine. There's a cheerful beep. I want to meet the NPCs. Their portraits look really nice. One lonely outpost. Curiosity killed the cat? No. QWERTY's fine. QWERTY is fine. I like that there's grass. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to see grass. Available today. <laughs> Batteries not included. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you guys. I wanted to, I really wanted to play more. Again, two demos in a row now. I wanted to play more. Um but I guess that's fine. Um I'm don't like that they ended on that with QWERTY. But I'm guessing we'll be able to fix QWERTY in the full game. Now I'm like, okay, did they do that so that we all have to get the early access next week and see and restore QWERTY like honestly I want to because poor QWERTY um okay okay chat uh yeah let's put some QWERTYs in the chat one last time before we move on to another game because poor QWERTY guess we'll move on to being wizards now any spells to cure sadness Shannon right yeah so the next game is called spells and secrets um which we'll play next, and I'm also excited for. I'm going to take my break to switch over to that, get some more water, and do some little breathing exercises because QWERTY is fine. Qu QWERTY is fine. We don't need to be sad. Can't tell if it's good or bad marketing, Jack, right? I can't tell either. <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I'll be right back, chat, and then we will be playing Spells and Secrets. And maybe, yeah, the magic can just... Maybe we can fix QWERTY with the magic somehow. <laughs> I'll be right back.
Welcome back, everyone. Uh, Vicky, hello. Welcome in. Okay. We're moving on from the sweetest QWERTY. And we're going to start casting spells instead. Um, yeah, this game is called Spells and Secrets. I don't really know much about it, to be honest. But I like spells and secrets, so... <laughs> Seems like a good combination. Uh, and we do have another emote for this game. So we have the spell book. Super pretty. Super pretty. Finally, I can be the witch I wish to be, says Shannon. Right? I want to cast spells. I always wanted to be able to cast spells. So... I think... Character library. I don't know what that is. I guess I'll just play. Character library. Oh, do I make like multiple characters or something? Create new character. Oh, do I have to do that here? Oh. Interesting. I wonder if it'd bring you to this for like if I pressed play. Head base. Face type. I love a good character creator. So... I will probably take a while <laughs> to do this. Oh my gosh, there's so many options. Now, is this choosing everything? Cute, soft, elegant, heroic. Wait, the names. I don't know which one to pick. Let me just start with this one for now. Hold on, let me change like... Wait, resting face? Neutral? Friendly? Sly? You can be sly. This looks nice so far with the character customization, you guys. Smug. If you want to be a smug wizard or witch. Sassy. Timid. Wacky. <laughs> <laughs> Bored. Cheeky. Okay, I will be... Oops. I'll probably just be friendly. Is that... That's friendly? Okay. I'll be friendly. Face... De Let me change my eyes here. I need to be blue. Like a blue... Like a blue-gray? Kind of like that. Actually, the the eye color is like very nice, like very precise. You actually notice the difference. Okay, and eyebrows. Wait, what are face details? Okay, beauty mark. You can pick two different ones. They already have my beauty mark, so we already have what I need. Oh, that's cool though. There's like different freckles. You can have like a little heart. There's vitiligo. Birthmark? That's really cool. I don't know if I've ever seen a game where you can customize your skin to that extent. That's really nice. Love the different face shapes. Yeah. I really like the character style too. I agree, Nancy. So far, so good. Eyebrows? Okay, I can't exactly... Maybe I can do the hair before I do the eyebrows because I want to see... Like how much of the, how much of the eyebrows I'll see. Hairstyle. Ah, uh, can I rotate? Actually, this hairstyle is really cute. Let's change the color first. I always try to do the color first so that I can, oh gosh. No. You guys know how I, <laughs> wait, I've gotten better at this. It's not bright enough. I've gotten better at it though. Uh, have I gotten better at it? Ugh. Maybe. 
Maybe that's okay. No, style. Oh my goodness. Change the color first. It's best to change the color first because then you can see how, see how the styles will look with like the color that you want. Curly. Quick bun. They have a lot of options. Braided. Oh, that's cute. I like the braid. Oops, lost my spot. Pigtails. That was the one I started with, the elegant style. Long. I think I like the, the braid. I like the braid. Now, can I change my eyebrow color or no? I've played like a few games lately where you can't change the eyebrow color separate from the hair color. There's a lot of options. I like the, I really like the customization so far. It's hard to tell because my eyebrows are much darker than, than this. No, those are not right. Maybe these ones? No. Uh, maybe... I don't know, you guys. Maybe just these ones. None of them look right to me. Let me change some other things first, and then I can come back to the eyebrows if I need to. Glasses! Maybe glasses will help. Oh, we can have glasses. Oh, these are cute. These are kind of like... These are like... They have my two glasses. They have these ones. And the ones I'm kind of wearing right now. Except mine have like a... Uh, like a blue frame. Not bright blue. They're like, they basically look gray. This one goes really nicely with my hair. Uh, Carolina, hello, hello. Welcome in. In Coral Island, we don't even have one of my glasses options available. And here, the two options are literally my two pairs of glasses. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> uh, I wish you could change the color of the frames. That'd be nice. Yeah. I feel like that's something they could add later. It's nice that they have glasses to start out with. A lot of games you can't even start with glasses. Oh, there's makeup too. Natural. Natural prominent, natural subtle. Interesting. How do I get back to... Elegant, subtle. Elegant, prominent. Oh, wow. Dark, subtle, dark, prominent. Um, I'm gonna go with... I actually like this. I like the bit of eyeliner. Um, how do I change... My... Skin... Here we go. My skin tone. So I can see better. Oh my gosh, you have the full spectrum of color tones. Um... For skin. I just, how do I, I can't tell if it's the background is influencing what I'm seeing. I know I'm pale. That looks better. That looks much better. So wish I could darken my eyebrows. Maybe I can see the makeup better now that I have. Yeah, I still like having that bit of eyeliner. Okay. Idle pose. Body type. Okay. Head shape. Wait, I thought I already did head shape. Wait, 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 what? Wait, whoa. 
I didn't... Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna, like, leave... It. No, no, no. <laughs> no. I'm just gonna leave it. Let me out. There we go. Body shape. Oh, you can make yourself taller? Uh, Kickinal says, that's one thing I wish I could have put glasses on the Sarah Mini. I feel like they'd be... I don't even know how you do that. They'd be so tiny. The glasses you have on right now, Johnny. There you go. Nice to have you have. Look, you can make yourself... I don't think I've ever played a game where you can make yourself taller. I feel like I'm somewhere in here. Ooh, look at my skirt. <laughs> That's cute. Um, idle pose. Oh, you can pick like, kind of like your expression. You can pick your pose. Heroic, proud, hip, shy, aw, relaxed, shady, <laughs> cute. Play oh, that's cute. I like that one. That reminds me of my like um, original character art that like the first one that was on my channel. Oh, that's cute too. Sassy, reserved. These are cute. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I like that one. But I need to, I feel like I need to change my face a bit. I guess it is friendly. I don't want wacky. Cheeky? No, friendly's good. What is it about my face? Maybe it's just the eyebrows that are throwing me off. I think the rest is pretty good though. Maybe those ones are better. This is my character? Oh wait, I can pick a- wait, there's a whole other- There's a whole other section. How tall is tall? It is impressive customization options, hey? I feel like I still need to change the hair color. It's not quite right. I'm gonna be- I know it's just a demo, but I'm gonna be a little bit picky, you guys. I'm, I always, I always just want like a blonde option because I always struggle. <laughs> Inspired by Hogwarts? Probably, probably. Okay. That's better. And then we can pick, I can pick my outfit. Are there constellations on my sweater though? That's so cool. Body style. Oh, I see. Torso clothing. Oh, there are different options. I like the skirt. I like these leggings though too, those look cool. But I like the skirt. Little shoes. I like these ones. Wrist accessory? Do I have anything right now? I guess you can't really see my wrist. But you could have a bracelet or a watch. You can't see my wrist, so we don't need that. Necklace? Can't even see that. I feel like I don't need that because I have a collar already. 
with my shirt. I just like this outfit, to be honest. I do like that there's different options, but I like that. I like what I started with. Okay, let me just take another look at this. I wonder if I should pick to match my... I feel like I should match my avatar. It's cute. Oh, and I can name my character. Sarah. I never know to put Sarah or Sarah Sunstone because it depends on the game. If they, like, have you named something else? I always name the other thing Sunstone. Or sometimes I just name my character Sunstone if it's, like, depending on the game. Okay. So, oh, import character file. Interesting. I wonder if that means we can carry over characters, like, from the demo? It's pretty cool. I feel like with this one, I'm not gonna have, like, a farm or something, so I'll just put the full name. It's not gonna be like, oh, name your, you know, name your property or something like that. So I'll just put my full name. Okay. So, I'm happy with this, I think. She looks so cute. I love, I think one of my favorite things, or maybe just things that I haven't seen before, are the height customization, um, and then being able to pick, like, your idle pose and facial expression. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So, I really like that. Uh, save and play. Okay. Save and play. Oh, hold. Got it. How would you like to move your character? Oh, please this. Not mouse movement. Yeah, not mouse movement for me. I know some people like this, but I need the keyboard. The keyboard movement. Oh my gosh! I apparated. Very cute. It is cute, isn't it? I love the movement of the skirt too. Like, I love that it has the physics with it. <laughs> yeah, keyboard movement for me, for sure. Oh my gosh! I'm out here! Call friend? Oh yeah, you can play this in... Two player, I think. Cool. Well, I'm not doing that, but... Very cool. If you want to play with a friend, you can. Spell book? Is that a spell book? No? Now, do I want to go where it's asking me to go, or do I want to go somewhere else? <laughs> Classic Sarah. Is it only local co-op? I read that it's... They do have online co-op functionality, too. Maybe not for the demo, but I did read that they have the option. For both. Uh, Professor Amanda Ventura. Good evening. You must be Sarah Sunstone. Welcome to the Academy of Griffenstein. Oh, yes. My name is Professor Amanda Ventura, and I'm in charge of new arrivals like you. You're late, but don't worry. Sorry, I spent so much time customizing my character. Um, I used to be late all the time. It is with great joy that I introduce you to our proud Griffin. This is Merlane. Merlane? Venerable protector of the academy and the beating heart of Griffenstein. Great. Another game with big words. <laughs> the lighting is nice. Good point, Carlos. Uh, he has watched over our school for centuries and is always there when he's called upon. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Maybe you can even pet him. Oh, I want to pet him? Murlane? Is that your name? Approach? Hello? Aww. I like petting animals. I was afraid of that. Don't worry, Mirlane is always skeptical of newcomers at first. Oh, did it go poorly? I thought it went well. <laughs> it shows you what I perceive. I thought it went well. Once the two of you get to know each other a little better, he'll become more trusting. Oh, it's getting dark already. You best go straight to your room in the living quarters. I'll see you tomorrow. At least it's not dino names, true. So cool. 
Out of soccer field? Any soccer players? Enter the living quarters. Okay. No idea. Oh my gosh, look at this! Oh, wizards. Chess? Oh, whoops. Make way. I kind of messed it up. Are these all mini games? Are these all mini games? Wait, this is so interesting. If you don't bow and spin three times, they'll attack. That's cool. Am I going the right way? Is this the living quarters? Maybe I have to actually click it? No? Okay, that's not the living quarters. Got it. Uh, where are these? Do we do mini maps not exist anymore? In games. <laughs> Do we just not have mini maps? I guess like in life you don't have a mini map. This is where I came in, right? I don't even know you guys. It's gotta be this door. I clicked so many times. I tried pressing keys. Let me in! We're moonwalking. Okay, we're off to a great start. Um, Enter the living quarters. I'm looking for a feather. A gold glowing door. Oh, over here. <laughs> Just keep exploring. Okay. Okay. We can see if there's a... I haven't opened uh, the UI yet. Okay. Let's see if there is a UI. Oh. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's a UI. Yet. Find your dorm room. Oh, this should be good. Oh. Oh. Interesting. I found a feather. You know, it's something I don't really think about with games. Um, a lot of the times when you play a game, they'll have like, even if they don't have a mini map, they'll have kind of like an arrow or like a point on your screen where it's kind of like the general direction you should go to. I feel like I've taken those for granted in the past. <laughs> I feel like I've taken that for granted because it really does help sometimes. Okay, we're going this way. I don't know what that feather was about. Ooh, look at this. I guess that's not my room. I like the rug. Where's my room? Here? Oh, wow. This is my room. I get what- Oh, me like knocking everything over. <laughs> I get one of these rugs too. Oh my gosh. I don't want this side table. Why can I do that? This computer? This chair? Get out of here. I don't want it. I just knocked over my side table. Let's go to sleep before I break everything. It is super cute, isn't it? Super cute. Oh? Oh my goodness. Okay, something definitely just happened. The, no idea what. I was expecting like an explosion sound or something, but it was just... <laughs> That's where I stream, Cisco. Totally. <laughs> I even have my streaming set up with me. Oh my gosh. The intercom? Attention all students, this is your principal speaking. 
As we speak, an unknown force is trying to enter the castle. No reason to worry. The castle's defenses work like a charm. Nevertheless, oh, is it coming from the spell book? I have to ask you all to report to the secure schoolyard immediately. Your teachers will secure the school and assist you. Be on your guard. What is it? This is a spell book. We need some spell books in the chat. What's going on here? Sorcery for Beginners. Chapter 1, Telekinesis. Oh, what a time to read. Telekinesis is a simple but versatile spell. This spell allows you to move a target by sheer willpower without even touching it. Make sure you keep a firm footing and focus on your target. Maintain the spell and imagine yourself moving the target object instead of your body. Uh, sometimes I wish I had telekinesis in real life, like when I'm really comfortable <laughs> and I want something. Okay, use all of your willpower to move a target with your mind. Oh! Artifacts you find may modify the spell in various ways. Interesting. You can move any movable entity, including creatures. Oh, I can really move it, like, wherever I want. That's cool. How did this even get in here? That's so cool. Yeah, here's my setup. Here's my little setup. Okay. I hear like some cackling or something. It's really quiet though. Oh, hello. Uh, hey, Sarah Sunstone. I'm glad to see you are well. Well, they told me there was nothing to worry about, so I'm sure I should be well, right? The whole school is suddenly crawling with magical creatures causing all kinds of trouble. Do you see those main doors? They close automatically and remain locked as long as intruders are present in an area. Okay. Those main doors? They'll only open once all intruders have been defeated and the area has been secured. Got it. Oh, I'm being summoned. Alas, I cannot accompany you back to the schoolyard, so you'll have to fend for yourself. Are you familiar with the magic missile yet? No? It's very simple. Stay focused on your target and think about how much you want to get rid of it. I really need to get going now. I'll see you in the schoolyard. Dot dot dot. What kind of a teacher are you? You're just leaving me to defeat intruders myself? Magic missile? Offensive spell? Create a magical missile to attack a distant target? Does not affect friendly targets. Charge the spell to increase the damage dealt. Cast secondary spell, got it. Charge it. Okay, so I have to charge it. Okay, I think I get it. So I have two spells right now. Okay. Yeah, this is our first day. <laughs> It's our first day. I mean, it's not even our real first day. That's true. We just showed up. Hey, welcome to your new school. And now you don't really know much, but can you take out these creatures? Yeah, just do it all yourself. Just do it all yourself. What creatures, though? Are they in there? I smell a lawsuit coming the school's way, Jack. I think I have to go this way. Oh my gosh. Don't panic. You have to charge. You can't just click and cast, you have to like charge it each time. Can I move these things? Oh, I can move the enemy. But I can't move it over, okay. I wish I could just uh, click to cast, but I have to hold it each time. Is this doing anything? I feel like this isn't, oh, it did do something, okay. <laughs> Ew. Oh my gosh. No, why? I don't want the chair. I want that. <laughs> it like locks onto the target. I'm gonna run out of my powers. Got it? Okay. I think that's how much, like, of the power it uses, I guess. 
get off of that. It also like auto locks on to some targets. I thought I had to lock on, but it, it auto locked on a couple. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. Anyone over here that needs saving before I... No, we're good. Okay. Like, see, it's auto-locking on this. But I didn't ask it to. Can I not go through here? Okay, I didn't defeat all the intruders. Wait, where's the other intruder? It must be in this room. Oh my gosh, there's a couple of them. Got it. Yeah, I haven't found... Oh, I guess the settings are here. Let's see. Advanced target settings off. No, I want mouse and key. Auto run? Confine cursor? No. Stationary casting? Okay. If enabled, your character will remain stationary while casting a spell or using a potion without focusing a target. I don't know if I want that on or off. Run in background. If enabled, spells and secrets will... Con oh, no. Okay, these are up all... I was going to turn up the sound effects because I feel like they're a lot quieter than the rest of the sound, but it seems like they're all the way up. Hmm. I don't see any of that to be helpful for me right now. I'm not sure about the stationary thing, but... Leave the area. Oh my gosh. We're in the schoolyard? Oh, someone else is here. Lost schoolmate. Oh hey, you there. Good thing you're here. As you can see, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Clumsy me forgot to bring along my wand. Why would you ever leave your room without your wand? Without it, I regrettably can't do anything against this armordillo, but surely you can help me out here. Uh, Angelique, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome in. You must have noticed what happened to the thing when it rolled against the wall. Armordillos show their vulnerable belly when stunned. Make sure you give the beast a good whack at just the right time. I'm sure that'll be a piece of cake for you. Watch out, it's waking up. Yeah, this is my first day, piece of cake. Wait, where'd it go? You. Ah! Is this doing anything? Oh, no. Give it a whack at just the right time. When it shows its belly. When does it show its belly? Show your belly. Maybe when it jumps? Okay, let me wait. Oh, it's when it flashes red I have to hit it, right? Or do I make it r roll into something? Oh, that! I get it. Ah! It's so fast. <laughs> Got it. When it crashes? Oh yes, thank you chat. <laughs> if there were students in those rooms, the security measures really would have just locked them up with the monsters. That's so true, Lizzie. That's what it did to us. Uh, just like this armored dildo, each creature has certain weak spots. I like the idea of having, like, different ways to take down the, the creatures. Uh, you can make any beast vulnerable and defeat them with ease. Use your spells creatively and observe carefully how beings react to them. This way, you will sooner or later find all the weaknesses. Thank you for saving me. I haven't even introduced myself yet. I'm Robin Peters, second year. I'm sure you've heard of me. <laughs> Always looking to solve tricky cases. Uh, you no. Know, I've not heard of you, Robin Peters. What do you think? Should we work together and figure out what's going on? With your magical talent and my masterful detective eye, I'm sure we'll make an unbeatable team. I'll go on back to the schoolyard and get myself to safety. 
Meet me there and I'll help you solve the mystery surrounding this attack on our school. Okay, thanks. He's just standing there. Yeah, like right here in the middle of the pond. I guess it's a smart spot if that thing's attacking you. So can I like move this? Just for fun? I can. Second year and forgot your wand, right? It's not a good sign. Standing there looking for a fish, Bobby. <laughs> Robin seems sus. Kinda. The only thing so far... Okay, two things. I'm gonna chat with you guys what I think so far. The first thing, which I saw you guys talking about earlier, is the running. I feel like it looks like we're running and it feels like we're jogging. So I feel like we should be either going faster or... We should not look like we're sprinting. The other thing for me, I don't know if you guys have played this, but when you cast a spell, like I can't, this is me trying to just cast, click and cast. And I can't, I have to hold for everyone. Click, hold, release, click, hold, release. And I like the idea of clicking and holding to charge it, but I wish there was like one basic attack where you would just click and cast, you know? Even if it was like a pretty weak attack. Um, but I might change my mind as I get used to it because I'm sure they have a reason why you can't just click and cast um, That's my those are my thoughts so far. Maybe just clicking would be too easy That's true That's true For me it just so far. I think I might just have to get used to it because it feels kind of like Weird like intuitively I want to like just cast a spell by clicking oh Professor good. Are you gonna help me? Dr. Theodore Opot. Hello, you must be one of this year's newcomers. Let me introduce myself. Dr. Theodore Octavius Pot, supervisory teacher for first year students. Yeah, you can move the furniture around with the telekinesis spell, Ariel. Um, you may skip the doctor if you'd like. Oh, and Octavius too, please. Evidently, there's another one of these nasty creatures in this area. You seem to know how to defend yourself against such intruders, so how about a new spell? Take your pick. Oh, I get a I got to pick a free spell. Let's get some spell books in the chat. Levitate? Mouse form? Transform yourself into a swift and tiny mouse to avoid detection? Jostle? Produce a shockwave to forcefully push away targets in front of you? I want to turn into a mouse. <laughs> I feel like that's not useful, but like, I want this one. I mean, it, it would be useful. I feel like these might be more useful, but I want the mouse form one. <laughs> I want this one. Thank you. Sold out. Reminds you of Raj. I could see it. Ah, splendid choice. I have one essential lesson for you. You can find magical artifacts all over the castle. These artifacts are items that modify and enhance some of your spells while you're carrying them. There's a hidden room next door with such an artifact. You students think it's a secret, but what you might not know is that I hid it there in my own student days. By the way, that is not the only secret to be found here in these walls. Uh, be that as it may, the artifact in this room will modify your new spell. This will make you fight your fight with the intruder a breeze. However, the entrance to the secret room is locked behind a riddle, so you have to use your wits to find your way in. I'll give you one last tip before I have to take my leave. Follow the lights and you will be enlightened. Is that the riddle? Okay. Yeah, like I can move... Okay, wait, this one? SPC? Space? Ah! I'm a mouse! Duh. Okay, so I'm just gonna play as a mouse. Look how speedy I am, too. Look how speedy I am. Everyone just leaves us alone, the little baby first year, right? They're like, you'll be fine. I'm just gonna play as a mouse. Okay, wait, I have to follow the lights to be enlightened. I guess I can't stay as a spell then. I mean, a spell. <laughs> I can't stay with the spell casted. I have to return to human form. So I can move things around. Okay. 
Follow the lights to be enlightened. Well, this light, this is going to be like that until I defeat the monsters, right? You know what? You know what? I'm trying. I'm trying. I can't go in there either. Where are the critters at? Wait, maybe I can become a mouse and sneak through like an opening or something? Can't go through that door. That door's blocked. These are lights. <gasps> These are lights. Wait. Oh, it's on a timer? Oh! Wait. I keep thinking I'm getting it. Other way, got it. I got it. Open? <gasps> What'd I get? A ninja's headband. <laughs> okay. A mouse form artifact. Transforming out of mouse form creates a smoke cloud which temporarily confuses nearby enemies. Oh. Confused entities cannot target anything. So when I transform out of a mouse. Oh, and that's open now. Can we all get three wishes? I want three wishes. Um, shift. I want to try this. Oh, that's cool. The smoke cloud. I like the idea of those items for sure. Okay, what are you? Oh my gosh, you can teleport. Oh, danger zone. Oh my gosh, this, this enemy is so chaotic. Wait, what happens if I turn into a mouse? Does it still attack me? No. Interesting, okay. I stunned it. Got it? Okay. I get it. What is this? Why is it? Oh, it was just electrocuted, I guess. Low-key like this game, Bovi. I, I like it so far. I just still have to get used to the click and hold. It's a bit slower than I'm used to with combat. I'm used to like quicker combat, I guess. So if that was the only enemy, we should be able to leave. Yes, we can. It's just a little floof. It is cute. He's a cute enemy. Ooh, this looks interesting. Okay. Do I want to be here? Investigate? I'm investigating. Oh. Great, another character. Excellent. My teleport traps? Teleport traps? Wait, why are they traps? Isn't teleporting a good thing? Little hydration reminder, my friends. Uh, everything is going to plan. Well, what have we here? A lost little hatchling? You must have fallen out of your nest. Too bad your old griffin patron isn't here to protect you. Prepare for your end. Oh my gosh, I'm dueling? Oh my gosh, I'm not prepared for this. How do I dodge? Can I make you levitate? Oh my gosh, get me out of here. Stop. How come you can cast spells so much quicker than me? Ah! Well, what was I supposed to do? What happened? Maybe I'm supposed to lose? Day one is a lot, isn't it? Ugh. 
That's what your arrogance gets you? Excuse me. It is really quite pathetic what has become of this school. I hope the next one you send will be more of a challenge. Who? Wait, give me back my artifact. Did I lose my artifact? Wait, what's happening? Everything's fine now? <laughs> uh, my day's going amazing, Johnny. Thank you for asking. I always love hanging out with you guys. Especially trying new games. It's always a mixed bag. How was your first day of school? Uh, I got beat up. That is exactly what happened, Alyssa. You're the real deal. I'm the real deal? What a cool entrance. Thanks again for saving me from that rampaging armadillo. Just go with the flow. Carol says POV. This is like teachers expecting us to know everything on our first day. So true. Uh, Whatever is going on around here is pretty suspicious, don't you think? I have a feeling we'll solve this case together. Would you mind going back to the castle to look for more clues? It should be a breeze for you with your magic skills. <laughs> Why don't we figure out what what happened together and hunt down those responsible get back to me when you discover something new but before you follow that good instinct of yours you should talk to professor ventura i guess i was confused because i expected the whole like i expected this to be dark too and have creatures around but it's fine out here like everything's normal out here Uh, good to see you again, Sarah Sunstone. Our little detective is right. Your entrance was truly impressive. Oh, that's good. I'm glad it was impressive. However, I don't think Robin understood its significance. Oh my goodness, Paul with the 20 gifted memberships. Hi, Paul. Welcome in. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much, Paul. 20? Oh, thank you so much. Can we please get some hearts and hype in the chat for Paul? That is 20 new members who can use the emotes, who get badges. That is so exciting. Cyberfrogs, uh, the hearts and hype, thank you. I thought I was, for a second I thought Cyberfrogs got one. I was like, Cyberfrogs, you are a member, what's happening? <laughs> um, thank you, Paul, so, so much. Let's see who got them, let's see who got them. Con uh, Con, Tabikimi, JP, uh, Ashira, Aries, Kareen, uh, Natyla, London, Alicia, Mayo, Jessica, Gio, Natasha, Mary Beth, Nina Colada, Stevie, um, Faith, Angela, Sandy, Lay. Thank you so much. Justin, oh, Avery, hi, welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, what a, what a grand entrance. They're talking about me making a grand entrance. Paul's like, no, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Paul, thank you so, so much. Everyone enjoy the emotes, courtesy of Paul. Uh, we have three special ones for today. Uh, right now we're using the, the spell book one. It's pretty cool. Um, thank you again so, so much, Paul. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Just got, just got in from work, nice. I was like, I didn't think I, I didn't think I saw you earlier. Sometimes I do miss you guys coming in though, if I'm really focused on something in the game. Stomping down the stream. I appreciate it so much. I know the community does too. Great time to use the three new emotes for just today. Totally. I mean, you guys can put QWERTYs. You can use QWERTY again if you want to. I That's another example. I don't want to get rid of QWERTY. Especially not after that cliffhanger. Um, you only stand before me now because Mir Lane gave you one of his mighty feathers. Whatever you encountered in the castle won at your demise. Oh, so I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. It was the feather. <laughs> Ninja in while I was fighting dramatically. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, if I'm focused on the game, I definitely miss you guys coming in. So it's nice to see you, Paul. I appreciate it so much. Uh, it all began tonight with that strange explosion in the spires. Since then, Mir Lane and the principal have disappeared without a trace. I hope they're both well. I never thought I would see the magic of a griffin feather myself. It is said that a griffin feather carries its owner to safety when they are in mortal danger. Mirlane seems to have su suspected something even before tonight's incident occurred. So that makes sense, because I definitely did not fight well enough to 
win that. Well, I didn't win it, obviously, but to not perish. Uh, there are people in the world who would do terrible things to obtain the power of a griffin feather. Oh, great. So I have a target on my back now. <laughs> Uh, however, there's one advantage to this whole predicament. You are now free to explore the castle without us having to fear for your safety. Uh, nevertheless, prepare yourself well. After all, you'll have to fight your way through. Please visit Dr. Pot and learn a new spell. He's waiting for you in the middle of the schoolyard. We get another new spell. I mean, I kind of want to just be a mouse. But I'll take another spell. Yes, Citrines. Citrines for the new members. Welcome in, welcome back. And <laughs> yeah, now they suddenly care about our safety. Uh, Cisco, thank you for lurking. Nice to see that you're in one piece. It seems the last spell I showed you was quite useful. I'll be happy to teach you more. Visit me anytime. Okay, we get more of them. Oh, and we have points. We have spell book points. So do I want to levitate things or jostle? I feel like I need Jostle. Oh, but I could use this to levitate the enemy and then hit them. Or, entities that move too fast will cause and suffer appropriate effects on collision. Do I want to knock back or levitate? Hmm, I think I want this one. I feel like I need it after that encounter. Yeah, I can- here, I'll show you. Wait, where are my spells? I can change into a mouse. It's not showing my spells right now, though. Maybe I have to get out of this little story sequence. Um, excellent, Sarah Sunstone. I see you and Dr. Pot are getting along pretty well. Before you leave for the castle, I have some important advice for you. Once you've gained enough experience, you can visit us professors to improve your spells. For example, I can teach you enhanced forms of the telekinesis spell and the magic missile. The griffin's effigy in the center of the schoolyard even allows you to permanently improve your basic stats, such as health or mana. You can now explore other areas that border the schoolyard, the atrium and the promenade. There you will find more schoolmates, magical devices, and access to the different student factions. Would you mind keeping an eye out for lost schoolmates inside the castle? There must be some who are still trapped in the different parts of the castle. I'm sure that if you rescue them and later visit them in the schoolyard, they'll gladly share their valuable experiences with you. Oh, one last thing. Don't be surprised if the castle appears unfamiliar each time you enter it. A magical defense mechanism ensures that areas are constantly rearranged, resulting in a crazy maze. Oh, great. Have fun in the castle. Great. Avery, you like my character? I spent a while customizing it. I really like- my favorite part so far has been character customization and being able to turn into a mouse. I have a smartphone. Collector's guide. Wait. Award case? Achievements? Achievements? I want to play a game at some point that doesn't have any reading. <laughs> I feel like I've been reading so much lately. I wouldn't mind a little break. Um, use this app to edit your loadout and inspect your learned spells, obtained artifacts, and potions. You, we have a map. We have a map. Okay, that's the map. Collector's guide. Junior spells. Oh, so you collect spells over like different categories. So I've collected both of the junior spells and some of the first year spells. Artifacts. Oh, like how many? Oh, there's eight artifacts just for the mouse form spell. That's cool. Potions, creatures. Bosses, characters, I like this. Schoolmates, oh, there's a lot. Probably have to rescue them. Okay. The award case. 
Cool, cool. Okay. Lifetime stats? Oh, I have stats. Signature spell? I want the signature spell. I want it to be the mouse one. Okay. Switch. Draw wand. Put it away. Switch flick spell. Oh, I get it. Oh! Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I get it. Okay, let me turn into a mouse now. Enough being- no. There we go. I don't need to be a human, I can just be a mouse. And play soccer. Goal. <laughs> Season a letter to the future is fully voice acted. I really like Dordone. I did. I, I still haven't played the second half of it that I really want to. Um, I saw a trailer for that one season. It looked really good. It looked like it would make me a little sad too, which I like sometimes. I loved playing Dordone and having it voice acted. It was nice. I love this. Let's just play soccer. Uh, Stephanie, hello, hello. Welcome in. Oh, there's a quest board. Oh, act one. Okay. That's what we've experienced so far. Yo, Sarah Sunstone. Cool bumping into you. I'm new here too. Maybe we can hang out sometime. Sure. How about a helpful hint? Always stay in motion during combat to avoid getting hit. You can use objects and obstacles as cover. Targeting foes or objects can be a challenge in the middle of combat. Try and play around with different controls and target settings to adjust them to your playstyle. Oh, thanks, Philip Tilt. Ooh, what'd I get? I got an award. Hello there. And I got some... I'm just going to meet everyone in my mouse form. <laughs> Another one of the new nobodies. Excuse me? You're lucky you made it out here. Let me give you some advice. Potions are useful and can be very powerful if you use them wisely. Don't be afraid to use them when you need them as they are easily recharged. Okay. Well, thanks for the tip, even though you're so rude in the beginning. Sarah Sunstone, I knew you were doing fine. I'm sure you will find many other students in the castle. Let me help you. The central hub has a lot to offer. Use the magic mirror to customize your character, or the sorceress sundial to change the time of day. Okay, so you can customize your character later on if you want to that's good if you change your mind and you can change the time of day with a sorcerer a sundial the four student factions have their own areas in the hub once you gain access to those you can use their features as well what faction am i part of is this like a house thing have i been sorted do i get sorted am i part of the mouse house let me play this it's like curling Oh, I probably need to use a spell. Hey, Sarah Sunstone, nice to meet you. I barely made it back to the schoolyard before the castle was sealed off. Did you know? Spend your earned experience to learn new spells, improve them, or unlock character upgrades. Upgrading your spells will make them more effective against your foes. Against more powerful opponents, deeper in the castle, your spells require more improvements for them to be effective. You can permanently improve your character's stats, like health or mana, at the Griffin's Effigy in the schoolyard. I like those orbs I get from talking to people. Caps locks, trying to eat and type. Oh my gosh. I've like never 
Uh, I think there's been a couple times where I was trying to eat and stream because like for our seven, eight hour streams when Coral Island first came out, I was having some snacks. But it was more like the snacks were there and I kind of looked at them and every once in a while I would have like a blueberry or something. The Mouse Clubhouse song, Cherry. House of Mouse. The Mouse House. Yeah, I want to be part of the Mouse House. I don't know what the factions are yet. I'm just going to start my own. For mice only. There's one upside to this whole affair. No exams. I'll tell you something else. You can enable local co- You can enable local co-op at any time while you're here in the hub. Visit the landing platform and use the co-op beacon to call a friend. Thanks, Carl. Appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, Sarah Sunstone. How are you? I was so excited about the new school year, and now this. Shh, I have a secret for you. If you lose all of your health, you will be defeated. Shield health protects your health from being depleted. If you are defeated while well, in the castle, is this a rhyme? Is Serena trying to spit bars here? Your run will fail and you're returned to the schoolyard. You can abort a run at any time via the pause menu. Oh good, Serena, I didn't know there was a pause menu to return to the schoolyard. When a run ends, you will lose all of your collected gold, artifacts, and potions. You will never lose earned experience, learned spells, or unlocked upgrades. So I've retained probably 5% of what these students have told me. Why are the character combos giving Pokemon game vibes? Totally, Jack. Totally. That's spot on. <laughs> Citrine, Emerald, Amethyst, Sunstone, Mouse House, Vovi. Yes, that is the order. <laughs> hey, Sarah Sunstone, thanks for your help. I hope you can save some of the others from the castle. Can I share a hint with you? Dot, dot. No dot, dot this time. Your spells all have unique and useful effects. Combine them in creative ways to achieve powerful synergies. Artifacts are very powerful items, especially when combined with others. I feel like we already... You should always try the ones you find to learn about their effects and possible synergies. Keep an eye on your surroundings to discover useful objects. I feel like we already like learned this from the... I feel like we don't need to learn that twice. But I'll take whatever this blue stuff is. I feel like the professor told us that. How many more do we have? One more? I'm just trying to get the points, you guys. Also, I did learn about the changing time of day. That was, I remember that. We are very lucky to be safe here in the schoolyard. Have you heard? Always observe your foe's reactions to attacks and spells. Learn. Okay. Damage. Thanks. Give me my orbs. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Let's adventure. Let's go this way. The characters are cute. They are breaking the fourth wall, Simon. <laughs> they are breaking the fourth wall. Uh, for me, Lizzie, I agree. For me, I like to, I, I rather it just come as like a pop-up window and be like, this is what to do um, with characters if I'm talking to them. Uh, there's really clever ways that tutorial elements can be incorporated through character dialogue where it doesn't feel like you're exactly getting a tutorial. But if you're, if I'm trying to like get to know these characters as like people in the game, then it does break the fourth wall and it's kind of like, I'd rather the game break, this, or not the game break, but like have a pop-up for sure. What is this? What is the best game today? The best game? A dubious firecracker? Oh, so I add this to my jostle spell? The best game today? My best game today? I don't know. Um, I really liked the first game.
but I wanted the demo to be longer. Are they fighting each other? Can they just fight each other for me? I don't think I can answer that right now, to be honest. I like both of the games we've played so far um, equally for different reasons. And this game I'm not finished with yet, so I can't make a comment. I love that I can be a mouse. Uh, how do I stun them? Let me try this. Oh my gosh, why am I walking so slowly? Ah, get out! I really like the idea of this game. Because I've always wanted to be a wizard. Or a witch. And cast magic. I guess the best way I could answer is I think each game has like really nice- Ah! Standout mechanics that are like- Like I love the character customization in this and being able to turn into a mouse. <laughs> I love the farming and like mining and stuff in One Lonely Outpost and I love QWERTY. And I love being able to take pictures and walk into them in Viewfinder. Like there's elements of each game I really like. Um, the only one I didn't feel like I had any struggles with or like gripes was the first game, Viewfinder. It was all just like very smooth and like it feels like that game's probably ready to be like released. These other ones feel like they're probably ready to be like, yeah, going into early access or something or ouch. How are these not- How have I not defeated these yet? Maybe because I'm not paying attention? Wait, let me try my new- How do I do my knockback? No, I'm trying to turn into a mouse. So they ignore me. Okay, let me try my new- m <laughs> The mouse is a selling point for sure. Uh, not sure I'm invested in this game story so far. The pacing seems off to me. I do love the character customization though. Yeah, I feel the same way. For me, like, and I can't tell if it's just where I'm at in the day um, with like reading and stuff and it being the last game we're playing. But for me, like reading the dialogue isn't quite, it's not quite landing where I want it to with the story, but I, can't, I couldn't tell if that's just me right now because it could be. Um, how do I do, oh, let me leave this room because I want to, I, I have that new spell. This is the levitate. Okay, this one. I have to give up the mouse one to use it. Okay. Let me try this one. Okay, I'm also still... I don't know why I'm struggling so much with holding and sending it. I still want to just click once and cast a spell. <laughs> Every time. Ah, no, let me out. I'm trying to do the knockback thing. Knockback. Knockback. Okay, they have to be really close actually for the knockback to work. So I kind of regret redeeming that one. I could have got the levitate. That didn't stun it that time. It didn't stun it. I thought it was supposed to stun it in the cloud of smoke. That's how I got this enemy last time. Let me try one more time. Oh, ouch. Don't hurt the little mouse. No, it didn't stun it. Okay. Okay, I can't seem to get close enough to it for this knockback to work. Without me being in danger. Why can't I get this crit- Okay, let me charge it up more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe we can all play this game before they get <laughs> taken down by Harry Potter Warner Brothers. 
<laughs> it's not like too similar. Okay, there we go. My gosh. <laughs> oh, did I lose the artifact? Did I actually lose it? I wasn't sure if I actually did or not. Because when I opened my smartphone, it said like my favorite. It said my favorite artifact was this one. Though I, so I thought I still had it. But maybe I really did lose it. Uh, every game today has a different vibe and genre. This one is more into combat. The other is farming. For me, it depends on my mood. True. For sure. I agree with that. I agree with that. I'm still thinking about Cuisineer, to be honest. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That was the most unexpected one for me. Oh my gosh. That was one I like expected nothing out of and was just so pleasantly surprised. Yeah, say this looks out of place, right? Hmm. Treasures? Songs of Ice and Fire. Big band and choir with Mistress Satori every Thursday evening. Cool. Are there more paintings for me to adjust? So I came in here, right? This is where I was- oh, there's one here. This is where I was battling. Have any of you played Cuisineer since I streamed it on... Tuesday? I thought maybe if I straightened all the paintings, I would get something. I must have missed one. Oh, right here. <laughs> On the floating wall. Got it. Ooh. Is this a vending machine? Another poster? The Fireblade. You solved the riddle. It seems you have some talent. But are you ambitious enough to make something out of it? Earn your place in our ranks and see what you're really made of. Okay. Ooh, can I play basketball? I think I need the levitate spell and I don't have it. Buy potion for 100 gold? Spending all my money. What did I get? Um, smash this potion to temporarily create a safe area at your feet that makes you and your allies reflective and impervious. Cool. Refills after each completed combat encounter. Oh, even cooler. So I can use it like once per encounter. That's cool. I thought it would be just like a one-time use. I was gonna say that's kind of, I used all my money on a one-time use potion, but that's not true. Played a bit of Cuisineer. Quiz You want to, but need to find the time. I like the vending machine. It's super cute. Okay, I think I can leave. Can you change the text noise? A lot of games have like a setting where you can turn that off. You can just turn off the text sound. I know Coral Island has that. Oh, there's enemies out here. Okay, let me try and do better. <laughs> I wish I had a dodge roll. That's my favorite thing. In a <laughs> or like a dash. Got it. Oh my gosh. Did you see how the basketball stunned me? That's so funny. It like stunned me. Uh, James, hello, hello. Welcome in. Uh, just wanted to say hi. Going to watch the replays from the last two days. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, there's a lot of... A lot of content, a lot of hours of content right now to catch up on, which is awesome. I love having that for you guys. 
A lot of plunder is the new head girl. You can read what really makes this daredevil tick in our exclusive interview as soon as we've been able to conduct it. Hopefully she will soon return from her expedition into the secret rooms of the academy. School paper? Okay. I'm looking for secrets. Oh, here's a critter. Can I try? I want to try and use the knockback spell on this guy. No. Oh my gosh. I... Maybe none of the enemies I've encountered. Oh, there we go. You have to be so close, though. Does it even do damage? I guess I could give you space. If you need it like that oh my gosh that was close i'm so sad i lost the stun ability with my mouse Get back. Oh my gosh. I love how, well, to me, I don't know what you guys are hearing. I'm hearing, like, yeah, like, peaceful music, <laughs> which can really contrast with the, the battling. Uh, Dylan, thank you so much for lurking. Okay, let's go this way. Do you need help? Need to be rescued? Oh my gosh. Shivering. You found me. Good job. <laughs> Wait, why? Why are they acting like they were hiding on purpose? Like, good job. You found me. <laughs> Together, we would surely make a good team. See you in the central schoolyard. Wait, was this... Are y'all playing hide and seek with me? That made me feel like they were hiding intentionally, not like, oh my gosh, thank goodness you found me. I've been stuck here for days. There's another vending machine. I don't have any money. We only have peaceful battles here, right? The soundtrack is like, well, it's really quiet on my end, but it sounds very peaceful. Is there nothing secret in this room? There's a secret, I cannot see it. Which is probably why it would be called a secret. Can I go this way? I can't, oh, I can only go out the way I came in? Okay. Oh yeah, duh, Sarah, look at the map. Look at the map. Okay. So I could go this way. I haven't even been using the map, I've just been exploring. Boyfriend dungeon? I've never played that. I remember it was really popular for a while, though. Oh, I got another artifact. What did I get this time? Uh, telekinesis makes you impervious while channeling. Okay, so I can move stuff around and I won't take damage. Impervious entities cannot take damage. Im okay. So does that mean the enemies also can take damage if they're floating, if I'm floating them around? Well equipped. Acquire two artifacts during a- Oh, I guess I'm- I guess I'm doing a run. Okay, go back out the way we came in. It's really fun. I- it looks fun. I don't know why I never played it, to be honest. Go this way. Oh, I'm back in a circle. 
Although, didn't they say the school, like, changes? Oh! Enemies. Okay. I wonder if I can use, like, a basketball to, like... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I sent it out to space. I sent it out to space. Can I do something with this? This looks like something special. Oh, I got money. Excellent. I feel like I should be able to do something with this, right? Maybe not. Home run. The central castle changes each time I enter it. Yeah, something about- I don't even know what the central castle is. Do I have a bigger map? Oh, I see. Maybe I was supposed to throw the basketball into this. But I just sent it to space instead. I'll just move on. It's fine. Oh, look, a person. Do you need rescuing? Hey, you. Didn't expect to see anyone else wandering around here. I'm Anton Gold something ceo and eager co-founder of something shops and services i just know i'm gonna mess it up okay chat i know i'm gonna say it wrong i'm gonna mess it up i'm it's gonna be bad uh my brother emil and i have just launched our business and promptly everything starts going terribly wrong that pesky incident at school has thrown quite a spanner in the works what in the works for us chat I don't know what's happening sometimes. Lynn with the two months! Lynn, thank you so much. Can we please get some emeralds in the chat for Lynn? Thank you for being a member for two months. I love the ice cream cone. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for the hearts. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Paul, I'm still gonna read it wrong, okay? <laughs> I'm still gonna read it wrong. And then I'll have to unlist the stream or delete it. <laughs> All our inventory and savings have been scattered around the castle in the commotion. So if you find any golden troves and lucky bags, then their contents are probably part of our startup capital. I can offer you a few leftovers until we have rebuilt our supplies. If you want to help us rebuild, you should talk to Emil in the schoolyard. I'll let him know to meet you there. Oh, I can buy. I can buy a heart? Sure. I'm missing a heart. Or half a heart. Not a dinosaur name. True. Give me my heart. Thank you. I wonder if there's- is there no time? Does the run just go as long as I want to? Look at this rug. I love this. That's cute. Thingamajig. Just downloaded the demo for Cuisineer after catching up on Tuesday's stream. Lynn, let's go. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. That's definitely been a, a standout for me, personally. Uh, Danny, take care. Thank you for hanging out. See you again soon. And Daryl, welcome in. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. How do I get out of here? I guess, again, the way I came in. I keep thinking I can go out these other doors. I just gotta look at my map. 
Halloween's getting closer and closer. Spooky season. You're loving the stream, Ariel. I'm so glad. Thank you. I'm loving it too. I'm sometimes... I don't know how to explain this in words, but sometimes when I'm reading certain dialogue, it makes me feel like I'm like in another dimension or something. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know how to explain it. It's like the paleo pines phenomena as well. Like, and I'm like, okay, we're all reading the same thing, right? It's not just me. Also, I want to turn back into a mouse. I'm tired of being a human. Halloween. <laughs> You're still waiting for the summer collection? Yeah, don't worry, Vovi. Summer collection first. I'm always excited for spooky season, though. Oh, is there no way? This is a dead end? Okay, wait, let me look at my map again. Oh, I can't. Can I not look at the map when I'm a mouse? That's rude. I'm ex I was wanting to literally plan out my content for October the other day and I had to be like, Sarah, you have way more important things right now to do. October can wait. I'm just really excited about all the spooky stuff that I want to do and play. I gotta see if there's another way I can go. Oh, here. Uh, there must be an enemy in here. Yes, right here. Okay. Ugh. I really want my stun back. I'm so sad. So maybe you guys don't pick the mouse as your first one because you get another one right after. I guess it depends on what spell you really want. Oh my gosh, this one's so chaotic. This one's different. This one has different behavior. No, no, no. Um, Pick a different one first because then you'll lose a different artifact if you really want the mouse one. I just feel like the stun is really helpful to like start off your... Your encounter. It kind of gives you an upper hand to sneak up and stun. I'm sure you can- Ah! I'm sure you can get it back, but... This one you definitely can't use the pushback on. This one, like, is too- Actually, maybe you could when you're really- When it teleports to you. I feel like it's too slow. Oh, did I get it? Oh. Like, I feel like- I feel like the pushback is a little too slow to use on the really chaotic enemies. Okay, there's one in here. If you stay spooky, you don't have to get spooky. It's true. Mouse hand's not big enough to hold the map open. True. Uh, Avery says we need the merfolk update, then we can get ready for Halloween. Well, it's gonna be so... like, strange... to have the merfolk update combined with the... Fall update, because there's gonna be like the spooky festival and stuff. I'm gonna, I think what I wanna do if I can, I wanna try and explore the merfolk stuff first. If I can possibly control that, which I think I can based on the, the game season I'm in, right? So maybe we can try and do all the merfolk stuff first in the spirit of summer, and then we can explore the fall and spooky stuff after. That's kind of my plan. They need to spread those out. Well, originally they, they were going to, Zoe, but then they combined it. And I think most people will just be happy to have more content. Um, spooky mer- We can dress up as spooky merfolk. <laughs> the merfolk gonna wear uh, costumes. Go this way. Oh no! Stop! Can I use this again? Ah! They're so chaotic. go I 
I'd love to use a wider variety of spells. I just feel like the pushback doesn't... It's too risky with this enemy because if I get close to it, it... It gets me. With its specific... I feel like it's just not the right ah! one for this enemy. It worked with the one that was shooting the, the slime, though. Got it. Now, is there still... I guess I got the jelly too, I didn't even notice. Oh! Hold on. Can't wait for the merfolk update, wanting to get back into Coraline after that. I know, and I know that's the update that so many people are waiting for. Jillian Gray celebrates a special anniversary. She has been the principal of the Academy for over 40 years. Read about her career in our feature story. So yeah, I definitely want to try and check out the merfolk stuff like right away. But I'm so excited for the spooky stuff too, of course. This makes sense, right? <laughs> you like the, the spellbook, Miu? It is really cute, isn't it? Oh, there's a treasure here. Can I get the ninja headband back? No, money's good too. Carlos, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys so much for liking the stream. You know I appreciate it. What else can I move? Did I move everything I could? Oh, this I can put on one of them. It doesn't roll away. And this? And then me. No? I thought that was gonna work. Do I have to cast them? Do I have to push them in a certain order? And the entire school explodes. I destroy everything. Why did I think this was gonna work? Is my logic like entirely just... Maybe the platform in the middle also needs to be weighted down. I don't know if there's any more... I have to see it. I don't know if there's anything else I can possibly levitate, though. There must be something else. Is there a code? Pressed in a certain order? Maybe. I'd have to find the code. Like, can I even... Well, I can't even get something over the edge there. Hmm... The newspaper didn't have any clues, right? It was just talking about the... Took a nap while listening to stream. Amazing, Fern. That's amazing. Yeah, no, there's no 40 years. No, it doesn't seem like there's a clue. Maybe somewhere else? Maybe I'll go this way. Or can I go this way? No. Look at this map again. Up or down? Undiscovered. Yeah, well, I'm trying to discover. I can't read any of these books. Oh, there's another table here. Let me try something. Um, I want to try 
try turning this off and see what it's like. Leave without saving, I just saved. Okay. So I can't move when I'm doing this one still, but I don't know if that helps or not. What if I... No, not turn into a mouse. <laughs> Usually I'd be thrilled for that. What if I use the pushback? Oh my gosh. Too much pushback. I can't jump. Well, if I can, I haven't been taught how to jump. Okay, so that did not work. Uh, Sarah, hello, welcome in. Don't mind me, just... Messing everything up. Maybe I need the levitate spell? Maybe. Maybe there's some things I just can't do. Until I have more spells. But I'll always try, because you never know. I'm getting used to the click and hold for the spells. Um, I, it was really t I don't know why it was hard for me to get used to. But I'm, I'm getting used to it now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... There's more critters somewhere. Ooh. Did you see that? Why did that... Why is it like that? <gasps> oh, I almost got taken out with that. <laughs> I almost got taken out with that. Gravity is too strong in this world. Yeah, imagine needing to be taught to jump. That's so true. This is not working. Maybe I need levitate for that too. Zoe, thank you for lurking. Oh my gosh, look at this critter. Ah! This is kind of like the one that the pushback actually worked on. Oh no, not my treasure. Yeah, the pushback works on- ouch, this one. Except I just totally got hit by its projectile. I thought that was something good for a second. <laughs> I was like, ooh, shiny. No, shiny bad. Shiny bad, Sarah. Shiny not always good. I always think shiny's good. It's not. Ah. Okay, we got it. We're good. Oh my gosh, I'm getting low on hearts here. I'm getting low on hearts. I guess the does the run end when I lose like all my hearts? It must, right? Sarah the magpie. My screaming. <laughs> I'll take it. I like crows and stuff. I like birds. Oh, maybe it ends when I find this? Or is that a battle? That's not going to end well if it's a battle. If bad, why shiny pretty, Fern, exactly? I don't think I want to do this. Oh! 
Oh, good. This is gonna end super well. Oh my gosh. Yep. Oh, and it's an armadillo too. Got everything. And I can't even get it through the net. The net counts as a solid object. Ah! I've never encountered that blind one before. Just gotta keep moving. Okay, we got one of them. That's good. Got two. Okay, wait. It's actually, like, way more fun. To fight like multiple enemy types at once. I feel like it's not fair how fast this one can throw spells though, because I can't. I have to click and hold every time. I want to shoot spells as fast as this character. Ah! I feel like I could probably do something with that soccer ball. Got it! Let's go. The gauntlet award. Completing a challenge. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I couldn't read it in time. What do I get? Do I get a prize? Artifact? I want my ninja headband back. A best friend's book. Thank you for the GG's. <laughs> uh, mouse form artifact. Mouse form temporarily tames the closest nearby entity when you cast it. Tame entities are your allies. Oh, that's cool. So you can basically have an enemy fight alongside you for a minute using mouse form. That's cool. I like that one. You think it would break the net, right, Avery? You would think so. But I guess it helped me to have cover at times, so... It worked out. <laughs> thank you for the GGs. Thank you, thank you. And we got a book. We got a book, a best friend's book. I like that. Let me turn back into a mouse. Okay. I'm just gonna go back this way. Mouse can take bloops home. Oh, we need that, don't we? It's exactly what we need. And yeah, like that, there's question marks of things I haven't figured out, like this puzzle and that painting. But I also might not have the spells for it. Wait, how do I go? Like, it shows I can go this way. Maybe I only can if I solve this, though. No, can I? I can go this way. Okay. I'm locked in, which means there's enemies. Can we try using, can we tame? How do I tame? Do I have to actually use it? Um. Can you become my friend? How do I tame one of you? One second, let me become a human and see if I can read something about it. No, no, I want my phone. Mouse form. Oh, when you cast it. So I have to transform when I'm close to it. Okay, that could be dangerous. Okay, so now we're friends. Let's go get that other enemy. Come on. This way. Okay. It didn't even last long enough to get to... <laughs> Let me transform by this one then. Oh, good luck doing that, right? Yeah, that did not work. Yeah. 
Let me try again. I might die because I might get too close. Okay, did that work? Are you going to attack this critter with me? Okay. Well, it was a nice idea. I think I have to play around with it a bit more because it didn't seem to be too effective right now with this setup. Gosh, I'm running out of my spell power. Okay, got that one. They're locked in with you. Oh, I see. Ah, too close. Too close. Ah, cheese. Hello, hello. I think this game has a lot of potential. I'm still getting used to the combat mechanics. It's pretty fun. I had a lot of fun. There was an encounter I just did with three different enemy types. That was super fun. Wait, did I even get my rewards? Um, I just have to get used to it. And I'm not entirely sure about the story. Are bedroom experiments too loud for you? Sadly, we genuinely could not care less. So escalate your complaints right to the highest level. Just send your complaints to no reply at... Okay, thank you very much. Deepest regards. Emil and Anton people. Sure. <laughs> that puddle can't be good for the floor. No, it can't. Is this another encounter I can do? Oh no, not a person. Oh, this is where I'm gonna die, everyone. So you know. Trying to make yourself look big, act a hero, and earn a nice award for yourself. You look far too weak for that. You'll never stand in the way of the crown. In the way of the crown? I'm just trying to hang out here. Oh my gosh. This is not gonna end. Oh, I'm stuck! It's making me walk, not run. This is not gonna end well. I have one single heart. I'm gonna go for the little blobs first. Ah! Oh, they're never gonna stop with the blobs, right? Oh, this is- it's over, chat. It's over. I don't have enough power for this or hearts. They're just gonna keep- I have to go for them because they're gonna keep sending out blobs. I did not realize that, of course. Of course that would make sense. Yeah, keep looking that way. Focus on your blobs over there. I'm safe in this corner, right? Ah! Oh my gosh, they have so much health! No, I don't want to- no. No, the camera, come back. I need to see them. Ah! Not fair! Why do you have so many friends? Ah! No, 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 no. I can't be cornered. I can't be cornered. Get out, get out, get out, get out! Mm. I'm stuck on the table, get off. What was that? What was that? What just happened? No, 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 no. No. 
I wish I had another heart right now. Oh my gosh! No, no, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. There's a dodge roll when you need it. No, I need a C, I need a C, please. Thank you. What are you doing? What are you conjuring up? I can't see! Oh my gosh, no! I was so close to actually doing that! I couldn't see at the end. Ugh. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Goku. I was so close to actually defeating it, I couldn't see at the end. So that's the end of my run then. I got stuck. So close, but not quite. Thank you. I, I can't believe I hung on that long with half a heart. Um, you gotta keep the enemy in your in your camera. If you go, it was not on me. If you go back too far, it like shifts the camera so you can't see the, the enemy. Can I get another spell? I can get levitate now. That's good. Thank you, chat. I appreciate it. I wasn't expecting to even get close to defeating them. It's actually worse for me when you get that close and then you don't get it than if I just died right away. Because <laughs> then it's like, ah, oh, a couple more hits, I could have had it. Uh, do I need to talk to- why do you have a credit card? Oh, it's you, right. You have a store is why. This is the brother of Anton. They have... A free investment opportunity. Allows you to invest gold in exchange for credit. I don't want a credit card. I don't want any credit in this game. That's too real. So you've met another one. They call themselves the crown, you say. What? Oh, the enemy I was up against? Okay. I wonder what they're up to. I want to take one of them down and know what happens. Sounds sus. That's an MLM for sure. Totally. Goku, thank you for lurking. The fireworks when you score a goal. Totally. I like this. I just want to play soccer. Oh my gosh. I'm so little. The mouse is so speedy. There we go. I want to know what happens like... So this is where I get more spells or upgrades? Upgrades. So what happens when I finish a run like that? Do I just... Do I leave? Do I hang out? Like... Do I have a bed? Do, oh, I do. But do I go back to my bed? We're outside the grounds. Call a friend. Do I... Do I even know what my faction is or my house? Maximum health. Oh, you can permanently increase your health. That's cool. So you can get an extra heart. Increase your shield health. So these are like permanent upgrades. That's useful. Maybe I should go back to bed. Probably. What does this say? Oh, still just act one. I don't even know where my room is anymore. So much has happened. Defeated by the camera. Okay, well, I was like, okay, this loading screen is not, you guys, I don't even know where my bed is. I'm in the living quarters, at least. A boomerang. I'm just curious to happen, <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. I'm curious to know what happens if I go to bed, or do I just, 
I think I just start a new run. I'm just starting a new run now. So you don't even really go to bed. You just go back to the hub and start a new run. And it starts because the timer is going again. I can't leave now. Okay. I guess. I think that's what happens. Um, I think I'm going to wrap the stream up here, though, to be honest. Because I don't... I don't really feel like doing another run right now. I just wanted to see if I could, like, go to bed. If there was, like, a, you know, a sim element to it where you go back to your room, hang out, reset the day. But it seems like you might just go back to the hub each time and then start a new like run with the critters i'm not sure but let me know if you guys you know try this game out anymore um i had a lot of fun trying out the three games today and uh, let me just pull up my member card we'll still have this fun like battle music in the background <laughs> uh thank you guys so so much for hanging out with me today we tried out three cozy games um i definitely am going to play more of uh, viewfinder i want to play the full game one Lonely Outpost as well. I might hop into it with the Early Access launching next week. Uh, this one I think I need to try out a bit more before I make up my mind on it. I really like the idea of it and I love being a mouse. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for all the support, all the love today. Thank you for the gifted memberships. Uh, welcome into the new members. Thank you for the member chats as well. Uh, thank you so much to Tansy, Danny, Bree, Alyssa, Jack, and Avery for modding today. Did I do it? Did I do it? Thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate you sharing your time with me in the community. Um, I don't know when I'll be streaming yet next week. Next week is a funny one for me. Uh, we have a couple scheduled power outages, so I have to plan around that. Um, but I will definitely be streaming at least once or twice next week. So you guys know where to find the schedule on the Discord and on YouTube. So yes, and I'll post a video later today as well about the Coral Island news. Um, more to come over the weekend, hopefully, if all goes well. So thank you guys again so, so much. Lots of love to you all. Thank you for taking care of each other while I was over here busy with the combat. Be sure to also take care of yourselves, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye, everyone.